Thanks. <laughs> okay, so you, uh, do suck. you guys just you guys just defeated the kobolds, and the princess has been taken away by a blue dragon, which also killed a bunch of civilians with his electricity breath. I'm so glad I don't have the the text bar in the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you did. No, it's only the screen. Or the map screen. You gotta add a screenshot of the chat, though. There's no room. If you watch my videos, there's no room. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll put, like, an overlay. Like, you could overlay it on screen like, for a second. You know, buddy, like, again, buddy, like buddy, buddy. That's doing a lot of editing for a free video. Nah. <laughs> nah. Well, I mean, all a lot of the videos are free. So, I mean. Nah. No, 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 no. They got Patreon money. We ain't got that. Anyway. Anywho. So, how Anyways, about... I'll crop the screenshot for you. The combat has concluded. We captured two kobolds. Uh, the cultist, or the hooded figure that Artie and uh, Polykai was fighting, uh, his, his entire body like disappeared. Nothing but a cloak left. Fancy feminine robes. Um, Did the princess look familiar to any of us? I mean, it's the princess. Okay, yeah. Everyone knows the princess. Yeah. Oh, you mean like intimately? Like. No, 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 no. Like. <laughs> Did I recognize her as one of my. Is that my. Was, was no, she my say... dream girl? Oh, no. that? No, 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 no. Oh, or, or is there anything like in the history books I was reading? Anything like useful to plot? Sure, like you okay. Would not so yeah, thing. this is I'll give you this for history lesson. Actually, you want to roll for history? It's up to you. I got a plus five to doing it. Uh, yeah, this you know, because you know roll. Nice. Okay. You know her so... birthday, her address. <laughs> Social security <laughs> number. Yeah, Where and... she was just taken. To. <laughs> I like how Ethan and I are on the same boat on that one. Well, nothing on the print. Well, her exact okay, so coordinates that for mil her princess military wise, coordinates. Uh, there's a. It's a highly like. It's a rumor. Like it's one of those like things where. They believe that the princess is a reincarnation of Athena's, you know. It's sort of like Zelda, basically. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Ah. Sort of same scenario, but with Athena's soul. Uh, basically, that's for the princess. So uh, I know that. Does anyone else in the party want to do a history check and see if you know that? Yeah. If I know what? what, what? So we what Doc was just saying... I just got to get some water. I want to get some water. Well, I would say, like, in theory, like, hold on, does your character naturally know history? You would know history of the world, right? So you'd probably know the culture of this city, in theory. I mean, yeah, I'm like, I'm proficient in history, and I grew up in a temple. I feel like I... Yeah, you know what I mean? Shot. You know, let me roll history, too. Let me roll history. I mean, no, uh, like, some of these people have to roll history, like, Randy. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's never read a book before. See, I'm not this super is, surprised. This is exactly why. <laughs> Minus What's three intelligence. What's <laughs> What is this? Is this is say, that like a like a? I like would a say you had a roll higher than a uh, ten. Uh, yeah, Eve, just... you did. I would say though. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna ask if the layer is gonna roll for it. All right. I'm just imagining Randy. So effectively, everyone but sure. Randy kind of knows Randy this history. Randy okay. good, considering he has... A, he has a minus three. He did great. Yeah. <laughs> like a nat 13, 10 on the dot. And a currently growing abscess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone knows that How he about the princess, except for Randy. Um, we know the rumors. <sighs> There's another mm -hmm. history track for the dragon, sure. if you want to. Yeah. Um, I can't roll any lower, can I? Is it, is it only ah, history, or can we do, like, nature? Ah, or... fuck it. 
Fuck it. Yeah, what uh, would that be? And specifically, this is history. Okay. okay. Well, would... Oh, oh god damn! <laughs> shit. Wow. Thank Nicely you. done. Damn. I mean, well, yeah. Meanwhile, I look at the layers at the net twenty. Jesus. I feel like I should know exactly its exact weak point and know a lot more details than I should. I mean, I mean, you and Artie would know. I feel like I should get like an like an advantage on. Polykai's on an eighteen. To fight it. Okay, so I've just never this... seen a dragon before. Um. Uh, Drago, are you trying to learn about the dragon? Yeah. <laughs> you want to know? Roll the hiss. Do you want to know? If you know? Oh. Oh, your thirteen was above. Roger, oh. Roger. I thought that was. I thought that was part of the previous round. <laughs> okay, right, so everyone but <laughs> Randy and uh, Severus remember their history lessons of uh, the fact that uh, dragons are supposed to be extinct. Oh, what extra do I know? That's huge. Um, mm -hmm. they were uh, they were killed uh, killed by Zeus. Oh, oh, yeah. Is this Dark Souls? That's right. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Where's the ring? Where's the ring of so, favor? So, uh... Fap ring! How do I get the fap ring? So, there's a... There's Next a history... The there's a, there's a history story about the dragons and the gods fighting over the planet. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I get a giant club. The undead then rose. Continue. Uh, <laughs> Zeus banished the dragon queen to the hell plains and then killed the rest of the dragons off. And then and the, the, the layer and Artie would know that the dragon's true weakness is lightning. Okay. But, <laughs> I hope I get reminded of this if we have to fight the dragon because I'm not going to remember. All. Just remember Dark Souls. Just remember Dark Souls. Remember Dark Souls. <laughs> hey guys, so where's Smo? Is so, Smo in this campaign? So, also, if you remember correctly, this dragon was also spitting lightning. So, right. don't know if that's still gonna be helpful information, but yeah, we know that in general, a a dragon's weakness is lightning. Historically, we saw the lightning yeah. come out. That can be its own interpretation by the character. Exactly. Interesting. Also, Zeus what died. Do I get for getting a twenty the... though? Do I get Zeus, like, do I get like Zeus, a pat on the back? Zeus the died to extend the um, the the age of fire. By the way. No. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he didn't work okay. with cramped. Wait, no, cramp. Which which one's the bad one? I thought cramp was the bad one. I think Fram might one. be the bad one. I forget which one's which. Yeah, yeah. Fram I and mean, uh, the other one. Bad is the other one's the problem. Yeah. Bad <laughs> and bad case, is a, Bad is in, mm. is is per, 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 perspective. Truth, truth. But now no, that's. Colloquially. Anyway, yeah. So there's your history lesson for today. But you said me and Polly Kyle. I mean, like, what? What do I get? Like a? Do I get like a free lightning bolt or something for my nap one? Uh, no, no just uh, that's this. a huge insight on uh, Yeah, you're very aware of the dragon. So me and you now understand, like, because of this history check, we can say that, like, seeing that dragon, we have an idea of general weaknesses for dragons, and it's a no knowledge for your character moving forward. So, I like, know, if later on hot. something came, if something came up where that was a question, me and you kind of don't need to roll for it because we've proven that knowledge now. Why, why is this where my fucking nat 20s go? I don't know. I, well, hey, knowing, so knowing a weakness you know is good, man. Hand oh, great. Uh, yeah, a weakness uh, that Polykai also got as, at an 18. And that you got my, at a not nat 20. Let, let's my, be honest. Oh, I got a plus 5. What'd you want? My it head. makes so much sense for the bard to just know everything about dragons. Because... Yeah, I was about to say, my headcanon oh, yeah, is that... I mean, I did that's facts, that's facts. Yeah, I mean, yeah. My headcanon was that... The lair did the research just in case he met a dragon to, you know, yeah. fuck the dragon. I feel mm -hmm. like I would have, like, already... Oh, wait, true, but these said they've already been extinct, so <laughs> already I wouldn't done. have been able to. Yeah, true. I have mass knowledge of their, um... of their, uh, systems, if you will. Yeah, your character's affinity for dragons is why you have the knowledge, whereas my character's just, like, a librarian nerd who's fucking reading all the books. Why are these pages sticky together? 
Uh, thankfully, he'd be so, saying that in Orcish and then yelling at his dad. Anyway. So, <laughs> so uh, the kobolds that you captured are, like, wiggling and screaming, uh, the Age of Dragons here! The Age of Dragons here! And then they bite their tongues, uh, twitch a bunch, and then die. Do they have, like, cyanide-laced tongues? We, wait, what? Yeah, they, got the they bleed tongue. out. They, they bite they... off their tongues and bleed out. Oh, Bro, we got, like, five minutes before that's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, they aren't gonna bleed out yeah. in, like... Well, I mean, seconds, they're pretty though. damaged already, so... No, they went to sleep. I have a kill wound. I remember last session, they went straight to they sleep. They have like, cyanide cobalt pills. They have cyanide teeth. Let's go with that. Yeah, they got, like, that's a what I'm saying. That, that's what, that's Yeah, yeah, like, spitznet style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like tongues or good, tongues, good to, something. Good to know. I'm going to go to all the dead cobalt. <laughs> yeah, pull their teeth no. to be using that so later. Pull out, pull out their no. tongues. Cut off That's their tongues. The rest of the well, purpose is just We just, we just, we just gained an infinite supply of cyanide. Holy shit. Hey, Randy, would you like a <laughs> cobalt tongue? I, uh, uh, an alternative to that could time. be that they 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 just die from an exterior force doc. That makes it a bit easier on you. They explode inconspicuously. They die Whatever works. Fuck. <laughs> well, if they just waited, he, he al they also do them. like five Omni damage Man to shows up and kills them quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, the Tessie got the chicken. No, not the chicken. No, 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 no. Let's not be mean about that. Jesus Christ. Anyway, they're dead. Yeah, you're right, Roger. Right. Uh. Uh. So, uh, a couple of uh city, not guard, city soldiers come in at this point, and uh. Where's my page? Hey, Ollie. Um, Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage comes out of nowhere. Uh, quick shout, Doc. Can I can I like do any checks on that clothing you mentioned yeah. from the guy that disappeared? I, I was sure. waiting for like an opportunity because yeah. Uh, what do you want to rock that on for me and Polly Kai since we're the closest and the ones who would actually be able to inspect it? Investigation. Perfect! Plus five! Ten out of ten. You're inspecting Ugh. their thingy. I have all of the They're inspecting their thingy. Whoa! Whoa! I should be the one inspecting their thingy. Very silky, very... What's my specialty? It's very silk robes. Is there any, like, How patterns to it that would be recognizable of an occult? Or, like, a specific, like, god? Uh, there is markings on the back. Um, they have, they have like, similarities the to, like, mark, so, like, each god has a specific, like, symbol, emblem, right? Emblem, yeah. yeah. So this has similar, like, they have, like, similar, like, like, all, all the gods' emblems have, like, everything in sim, like, they have something similar in common with them, like, like a like, fuck. I'm trying to explain. Take a moment. Runes. Yeah, yeah. this is struggling right now. Okay. <clears throat> patterns. Pat colors. It has it has like they have patterns. <laughs> colors. Like a specific pattern. And this Roger. One has the pattern, but you don't rec recognize the emblem. Got it. So it's a pattern of like. No god that my character would know having extensive knowledge of the gods. Basically. Okay. If Polykai rolls that nat 20, he's going to learn that god in a minute. And <laughs> no, no, I got a 14. No. Oh, sorry, I didn't see the 14 above. Roger, Roger. Um, It looks pretty. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Why does that look evil? Soldiers... That's all you care the city's soldiers come and uh, one one steps forward. Uh, I, I think he's wait a make sure he's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, so a dwarf comes forward and uh, how do I get this off? There it is. Um, it's like, oi, 
y'all, uh, y'all took care of the situation? No, forget this accent. Uh, may, may I ask where the dwarf is? Uh, somewhere. Can we get a pin, please? <laughs> is he down here? Is he... <laughs> Like, because, I mean, this is like that moment from A Life of Brian where I'm just going to be like, and what about the cheesemakers? They're here. How about that? Oh, yeah. And what about the cheesemakers? Of course we did. Unfortunately, they got the princess, but we yeah. stopped them here. Yeah, we, we, all, we, all, we also saw that. Um, everyone saw that. Uh carried away kind of in the air R, R, R is going to go this not your job uh, protecting king failed protect princess okay yeah she had guards no guards are dead. not anymore yeah mm. well she had guards ah language barrier Anywho, uh, uh, we'll take you to, we, we want, the king would like to see, we're taking you to the king, uh, because you are the eyewitnesses to this event, seeing as most people are dead. Who have been here. Will the king compensate us with a reward? Possibly. Yes, maybe. I can't speak on behalf of the king. It's more or less we're getting dragged there by force, Drago. Regardless whether or not we say yes to it. Well, it's about time the king wanted to meet me. Exactly. I will go. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll pick up that cloth the remainder of that robe and just bring it with me. <laughs> Maybe the king knows what the symbol is. I don't know. I'm bringing it with. I like how Polykai is actually walking me while Art just teleported <laughs> 70 <laughs> feet. You just keep walking and the map actually starts scrolling and we're like, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Dude, that'd be great if we could set that up. <laughs> Bring you to the throne room. I'm sorry, I'll, while, while we're on the way there, can I just quick oh. ask, what the fuck is a dragon? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so like, <laughs> so, hold on, did you actually ask that to the guard? Yes, yes. Like, as, as the rest of us are talking about the dragon, did you see that dragon? And we're, like, mumbling to each other. What the fuck is a dragon? Are you asking the guard who spoke up? Or the knight who spoke up? Or are you asking, like, a random guard? Also, the, why does the knight anybody. on screen look like Jon Snow with curly hair? <laughs> Which one? The, the one on the left. left. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's the, yeah. that's the, kind of that's the like high knight that. that's, uh, it's escorting you. That's, yeah, it's definitely Jon Snow with curly that's hair. That's High Knight Omega. <laughs> high Knight Omega, the dwarf. Can I stealth before we go into the uh, the king's room? Uh, sh <laughs> I, uh, sh Would it be disadvantage because guards sure. are around us? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. So what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Roll, two, uh, roll, roll two, take the lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like how this is managed to work. Pretty high. Well, motherfucker! Oh, shit! God damn. Well, Doc, your call. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you just slipping away from the group, or are you like? Yeah. What's your intention or your stealth? Let's start there. Pretend I want to steal his crown. Wasn't there a? Oh, wasn't there whoa, a whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, before you steal his crown, what are you doing to get away from the group? That's what I'm asking. Sleight oh of hand God. is different. That's a different role. Where? <laughs> so a couple of guards were like, wasn't there six of them? I'm From only stealth, counting I five. Can get, I can get to the, uh, the king without being detected. Roger. Okay. Wasn't there a... Yeah, like, I thought there were six of them. Don't worry, you have me. That's all you need. 
I was going to say, the other way you could do it there is you blend in with the guards as if you're one of them, so they don't yeah. look at you like they're one of us. You're just like, oh, where the fuck the sixth one go? And you're, like, standing there kind of looking like a guard next to them. Yeah, I'm, like, creeping along, like, the, uh, the shadows, or, like, hiding behind, like, one of the drapes that's along the walls or something. Okay. Uh, also, also, by the way, um, er all the, 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 all the knights are giving... Uh, Flint, uh, a wide berth because you still smell. Oh, yeah, you were just shitting yourself. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, did I forgot. I was gonna try to, like, ask Polly kind of, like, clean me up. Wait, didn't I ask that at the end of last yeah. session? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm clean, dude. I don't know what you're on about. Fine. I'm sick of smelling it anyways, so... Press the digitation it away. I don't remember if that if we <laughs> clean that up because I thought we just right, finished right. combat and then let, we... let, yeah. let's let's retcon it back just a second as the group forms. Do you clean them? Like as the group of guards and us form together. To yes. Head to the king. Got, if I've got to be this close to you, fine, I'll clean you. All right, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys trek all the way to the castle. You get ushered into the throw room of, I don't know, I guess it's gold. Severus splits off mm -hmm. and yeah. away from the group where no one even recognizes that he had split off outside of the numbers being less. Okay. Well, okay, so let's, let's, let's rectify that one, by the way. Okay, so you want to steal his crown that's currently on top of his head. Well, so far, you successfully stealthed away from him. Yeah. You can wait for your moment to steal it, or just try to steal it immediately. Yeah, what, do you want to wait, or do you want to do it right now? Uh, oh, probably... Hmm. I would love if you stole it, joined the group, and were wearing it. That would be the best. I'm not going to lie to you, that's hilarious. But then he'd probably notice that. Would he? <laughs> So far, you stealthed at 20. I don't think he's noticing shit. You got a slight hand well. That's the only thing you got to do. You know what? Screw it. I will try and do it now, but I will... I want to also cast my minor illusion to put a fake crown on his head. Ooh! So, like, Indiana Jones it. Yeah! yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, it would be roll, roll a sleight of hand. Are we going to give him the advantage for throwing the spell at it, Doc? Sure. I so, two you. take the higher. Nah, well, two take the higher. You still, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love having a thief in the party. They make shit interesting. It's let the best. Just, let, me just, let me just roll something. How do I roll cool. again on here? Because I can't get up and get my dice because there's a cat. Slash roll. Uh, slash rolls. Whatever. Space 1D and then the type. So D20. Yeah. Plus whatever. Okay, yeah, you yeah. effectively <laughs> swap <them. laughs> Oh my that god. That man doesn't know that you just took it. No clue. Nice. Now, uh, you he have successfully... Has... You snuck up to him, you stole the crown, you put a fake crown in the form of an illusion on his head. Okay, so What do you do now? Are you rejoining the group while you're still stealthed, or are you going to, like, try to stay away from the group and stay out of sight? <clears throat> what else does he have on him? Oh, God. Oh, no. I mean, he did roll really bad. I'm not gonna lie. He, the question... He's wearing, like, royal robes. Don't take his robe. We Please just iterated the king's <laughs> naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's the like one story of like the finest like, tale. I'm, I'm, just on, like, I'm on the throne. My legs. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the finest Taylor story where the guy doesn't make him anything and the thing walks out naked. That's what basically where we're going if you keep rolling this. No, like someone cast heat that, metal on me that, like, Never again. D &D YouTube video. <laughs> like I'm gonna roll. I'm, I'm gonna pickpocket him. Oh god! Yes. Uh. What, took his weapon and it's like, I'm gonna steal yep. his pants. Yep. Right. I'll, I'll go for the robes too if I can. Go for the king. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> are we <laughs> separating that yes, sleight of we, hand? We are separating that sleight of hand. <laughs> no advantage on that one then. Just straight sleight of hand it. Oh, God. 
Okay. So Are we using the previous as the two? Yeah. Because <laughs> that would be his perception in general, right, Doc? Wow, this this king has zero wisdom. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Apparently I hate to say this. Oh, you have to edit in the chat now. You know you have to edit chat in and overlay it now, right? Is there gonna be something in the robes or something with that one? <laughs> no, it means that he doesn't notice what you just did at all. <laughs> all right, so you have successfully oh, taken oh his robe and you left him with a mirage of a crown on his head in front of all of us, by the way. And I'm gonna say none of us saw you do it. We saw the clothes disappear. We don't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> wow, so you he, humans breathe okay, in so weird ways. Now he's, so, so, <laughs> so, now, now he's down to, like... Ar Arch's just gonna go, what happened to your pants? So, he's down to, like, you know, those like, you know those full body pajamas? Like the old. Yeah, the body, white ones. The white ones? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's now currently in those if you want to try stealing those and press your luck. His, his pajamas? Basically, he's not naked like, yet. He's got like, the full body, like, you know what the leotard looks like? The white version of that? There used to be like old undergarments you would see. That's what he's wearing. <laughs> this would just be for the memes. I don't care about undergarments, to be honest. Well, I, I was just letting you know. And that's, that's what he's down to. I'm Does he have anything else of value on him that I can see, or did I pretty much? I think I, I think that the I knowledge should be fair. Also, to know. can I check the uh, pockets of the robe to see if he had any like gold or anything? <laughs> There's pocket change, yes. Like I'll there say, is something to be yeah, said about like the dollars. timing of all of this, by yeah, the way. Yeah, like you're just sneaking behind him and being like, all right, now I like, check these pockets. Immediately after a giant <laughs> attack. In the in the abduction of the princess of his daughter. I mean, hold on. His character did say, "Never pay for anything. Take what you want." He's proving that right now. <laughs> so I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just the one pocket has like, like it's a forgery. Has, has <laughs> about <laughs> uh, the one pocket has like pocket chains, like fifty gold. Pocket change for a king, lands. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then. The other pocket has a limited edition, um... Zeus card. Oh god, oh god. Uh, I wouldn't say Zeus. Um... Wouldn't it be Athena, because his daughter? No, because he already, already did Athena. Just oh like yeah, that was the lady. Oh, right, right. <laughs> no, he has the limited edition, uh, Poseidon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it holographic? <laughs> Yo, he's got Athena no, and Poseidon. But it's rare. It's it's like, it's not super rare. It's like, it's this. It's, it's just like rare. rare. Okay. An it's alternative rare. art yeah. of a common in Yu-Gi-Oh. Does that make sense? Alternative he's art of common in Yu-Gi-Oh. One alt part art Poseidon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go with that. That makes sense. You know, alt I, art. I like alt art. Out of green. You know, at some point, yeah. I do have to. Uh, I feel like at this point we I gotta make that. To, I have to make. I'm gonna get a fucking... full deck at the end. Of the we can't. Yeah, Doc. Doc, we'll work on that. Game. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> uh... Honestly, I'll take Gwent. That's fine. That's easy to copy. Um. He said he has nothing else of value on him. Uh, he, he didn't let me finish. Uh, he does have rings, like the royal rings, on his hands. It's like rubies and sapphires. Like signet rings and stuff. Yeah, yeah, basically. Are you pressing your luck for the rings there? Mm. Remember, can if I you get like caught, a... you can get caught with everything on you. So note that. Can I do like some type of check on those rings to like see if I can like know their value or something like that? By looking at them? I mean, they're on a king. You could. Well, oh, I think it would be like cheaper. Uh, maybe investigation, maybe insight. Insight. Depending. Uh, like, if you know jewelry, it would be insight, but if you don't know jewelry, it would be investigation type thing. Or if you have like the jewelry kit tool proficiency. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be more like an insight than an investigation necessarily. Let's see, Do what else lines? 
So I got the bad roll out of the way. Yeah, good man, good man. <laughs> so as far as you know, those rings ain't worth dick. Let's start there. Like, you see he, he has the, rings, he but you have no, You look at him and you're like, I have no idea the value of those rings. You couldn't say if they're worth a lot or a little. You they got could, no real... They could be decoys for all you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. You have no valuation on it. Basically. I think I'm Get happy it. with what I got, and I would like to go rejoin the group. Okay. Uh, Again, uh, it's, it's those rings from those little toy machines where you put in a quarter or 50 cents. I have king's <laughs> robes now and a king's crown. Okay, so I... I You're, what what if you put it on and start... Yeah, are you about to wear them in front of him? This man is an <laughs> imposter. <laughs> no, I, that. I, got this in the gift I am the true king. That could be how we fuck up Doc's campaign, by the way. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, be honest with you. I mean, yeah. I rolled my deception. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am gonna the true king, and everything is fine. That man is an imposter. He caused my daughter to be stolen away as you're in the group with us wearing the crown and the ropes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a disguise kit. That's up to you. What are you doing? <laughs> you're rejoining the group. Anything past that? Or are you keeping chill? I'm, I'm chilling out right so, now. Uh, so, awesome. one of the guards is like, he still has his hands up like, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Hey, there are six guys here. <laughs> it's like, yes, my, yes, my lord. Who's a good lord? Oh, Who's a good been. lord? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Servers just looks over and goes, well, of course there are. There always has been. And Meg was like, oh, yeah, we picked up six people. And this gives the guard a weird look. It's like, well, but before the, but. Hold on, if the, if, the, if the king's saying that, that man has no perception. He doesn't know how many people are in front of no, him, let's be no, completely it was, honest. It was just a, just a guard that's escorting you guys. Why oh, are there three of you that look the exact same? <laughs> yeah, exactly! That man no. has no perception. Look at the rolls. So, uh, you are now, you are now <laughs> king ushered roll. in front of the king. Over. I can't get over to the king. Uh, so, <laughs> instead of the picture that is currently ahead of you right now, in front of you, <laughs> Uh, this, this, I guess he still has the crown because of the minor illusion, but he's now in his underwear. This Seemingly, is bringing new, he doesn't new realize meaning to he's imagine in his them underwear. in their underwear. So, uh... I don't have to imagine anymore. <sighs> Art, Art looks confused from culture shock moments. That's about all that's happening from him. I was gonna print screen so I can fucking get that later. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I guess I do have to edit this fucking video. Dude, also rolled a one. I didn't notice that. Uh... <laughs> okay, also, a two before then we, a one. Before, yeah. we, before, we, before we go ahead, by the way. While. So, has anyone watched the Gr the um, the Grinch Stole Christmas, the animated one? The yeah. old one? Yeah. 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 So. When you said the animated when, one, when I Severus about the is new sneaking one. up to the king. I just envisioned, like, that one scene where uh, the Grinch is just slithering on the floor, going up the tree. Uh, <laughs> I think it's snake style, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, all, uh, so, uh, next to the king, also, well, yeah, next to the king is this bald dude. With a scar yeah. over his uh, left eye. Yes, that's more or less correct now. <laughs> you said it was white, so I would just yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> I'll I'll bow to the king of Natuk Tuk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the, all the, the, all the soldiers just bow and. Uh, Art gets on a knee with his shield down on the like holding him up and bows to the king. Again, as you heard, that's my impression of the king in this moment. <laughs> just like a child, like clapping to himself. I also take uh, flint, the layer also takes a very slight bow. It doesn't get on his knees, but he takes a slight bow in like a majestic way with the little like arm flaunt. Like, oh, yes. Rand uh, Randy's just Polly there. Polly does an over <laughs> fabulous bow. I do it overly, overly than Polly Kai. 
Are you guys having a, are you guys, do it more than him. Are you guys having a competition over who's bowing or? Well, my guy's just bowing in the I'm sense that putting I'm his knee down with the shield. Though. That's all. Yeah, no, my guy's not then, trying to compete. Nothing. Then, hold on, I've got to write down that. That's the last time I claimed. Uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 that could be fun. What do we got with that? What would that be? I was say performance. Yeah. So that could be a way of doing it. The two of you go for these fancy bows. Roll your performance. Let's see how well you bow. All right. Who does the um, fancy bow? Yeah, Wait, yeah, I have yeah. An idea. Let me turn it off. Hold on. If your bow includes something athletic, maybe throw it into acrobatics. But if it doesn't, it's performance right, for on. sure. Um, that makes sense. That. Don't I have? I have like a. <laughs> Oh well. Well, you never know. I mean, I, I'll just click it. I was gonna think because don't I have? Oh wait, no, here it is. Um, He's gonna always win one. As a bard, you may have something that boosts your performance. If so, feel free to throw it in the mix. I don't know. I was thinking. I, I thought I had something that you know that like um, you know, like I because I thought I had a performance thing. You know, like there, there I do a thing. thing. Yeah, there's a performance uh, skill. No, I mean like me, oh. like I would. Oh. Like a boost to it as a bard. Well, I still did better than. So the two of the two of you will say that the layer does do the bow better, but neither of you do the bow to the extent that you want it to be fanciful. Well, man, I was okay with it. As long it's as I did more than him. You did more than him. You did, 100%. Yeah, yeah and I was leaving it at that. I just wanted to do more than him, and that's it. <clears throat> yeah, you just did it. Just a little bit more. Yep, and I ended it at that. It's like, oh, it's like... Okay, right, so the king... Does Severus bow, by the way, after he goes into the group? Yeah, I bowed, I bowed. <laughs> the crowd just falls <laughs> out of his pocket. The, yeah, the crowd <laughs> just falls out <laughs> on the floor, and he's like, uh... <laughs> Wait, you, how about that's mine, that's, mine. that's from another order. kingdom. Do a check. Do a check. Uh, please, no, no, no. please rise. Do a reaction uh, check. Please rise. Uh, I, I heard you uh, took care of our uh, little Kobo problem just happened yep. and I'm just learning about it just a couple minutes ago but yeah that's fine oh yes, by the way I love welcome. your I love your crown I have one just like it <laughs> <laughs> and I look to turn did you go to the up, same like, crown maker I'm gonna fire him and behead him if he's giving out uh, roy royal crowns like this my crown and in like sight, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I think that was more of a big it. camp. Yeah, I thought he. I, I don't I think. I, 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 I assumed I put it in my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't say he was wearing it. He ain't wearing <laughs> it. He's wearing it. We ain't that far. We ain't that far. Jesus Christ. No, that was camp. That was camp. Oh, okay. That was camp. <laughs> okay, so scratch that, I guess. Um, <laughs> alternate universe. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So, uh, uh, you guys took care of the Kobo problem pretty well, I heard. And, uh, seeing as my daughter is now kidnapped, and we don't have Whoa! enough men to, to, uh, send out on a rescue, and the guy, uh, the guy next to him was like, sir... You would have if you didn't send out 90% uh, of our soldiers to the other kingdom. Yeah, but, you know, we have to help our allies in their time of need. Sir, I advise you against that. <sighs> Whatever. Is he seeing it all broken up about this? Like, can we yeah, I, hold on. I, 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 I really... It's like, like, so far... Yeah, yeah. Some don't seem right. This man's too nonchalant to lose his. Oh, my question: How many daughters he got? One. <laughs> okay. Yeah, way too nonchalant. If he had fourteen, I could get it. It's olden times. You get used to losing children. Um. Insight. It's bad. Oh, well, oh, I was gonna check inside. Oh! What do I know? Nice. Tell me what I know. Oh. I will wait for everyone else. <laughs> We're gonna get some whispers. Fine. Okay. Now, here's the thing. 
Uh, this is purely off of emotion because I'm not exactly understanding the words he's saying with my character. True. <laughs> it's just off the tone that my guy's like, something's wrong. Or why is he so nonchalant about this? Good job out there, guys. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty good. One, two, three, four. Who else would have been? Uh, probably cut. Everyone rolled. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're missing Devin, so that's throwing you off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. That keeps happening to me, by the way, when I keep reading through numbers. Alright, let me, uh, we're going, we're going to... I already forgot that he is in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we doing that? Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, do you I, I you knew what that meant when you did I, it. Alright, what right. do I know? Like, I was gonna say, like, to get this, you had to roll, like, but what I did, I it. understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, his eye. You take a closer look at him, and his eyes look like clouded over, like it's in a, like a haze or like a haze. Like he's fogged out. He don't even. Re he doesn't seem like he recognizes the situation for what it is, or more so, it doesn't seem like him behind those eyes. Basically. Just to clarify. Okay, so it doesn't seem like him or behind like, the eyes. Or like, he's just dulled. Yeah, he's numb to the situation from other means other than himself. But yes, yes. Okay, okay, I can land on that. Um, Is there anything else that I would get from besides that? Uh, Look, man, um, I'm your I'm your plot device. Like, I know that you two people can hear this and no one else. Uh, you can say whatever you want to help move the plot along right now. Just let me know. No, it's, that's all. that's all I can think of right now. Like, okay, you can, infer, you, can, you can infer what that means, but... Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. So I noticed that his eyes are, like, really glazed over, and he is almost out of body talking to us. Yeah. Okay. You can also tell, like, tell by his talking, he's like... There's no emotions in his voice. Like, it's monotone. It's very, like, matter of the fact. It's like phone now, in. Question, with him talking uh, to, to, to boost that... Him talking about sending his guards to the other kingdom. Yeah. Do I get the same vibe in that conversation, or does that seem authentic? Nope, same situation. Roger. Okay. Okay, so we'll go back. I'll move back. Yeah. Uh, do the CEO missions. I mean, the it's kind of hard missions. to do that when nobody joins your thing and like people like actively seek you out. That's just go on the fucking solo, right? solo lobby. Uh, like, I mean, I'm I heard pretty that sure microwave. If I remember right, it won't let me do CEO missions. Uh, I still, it's hard to do. We're talking missions. about GTA Five. Okay, hold on. So, 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 right now we just did an insight for everybody to check on the authenticity of uh, the king talking about his daughter, pretty nonchalantly being yeah, taken away. Seems normal. Hey, cool. okay. This guy's evil. What? Aren't um, all kings? That's facts. So, uh, is that guy like, a teddy bear? He has a red thread through his eye. Uh, that's a scar. It's a scar. <laughs> is he a teddy bear? He got that today. Uh, Whoa! Someone, so, someone fixed you up, didn't they? Um, I uh, so, so no. something to something to note is uh, uh, art seems much more on guard. Interesting. I, I would like to oh, yeah. I just want to say there's hire in my name you guys. You said mm -hmm. you did so well in that attack Ooh. to rescue my daughter. Uh, if you can't Thank rescue you. her, like, bring back her body or something. Like, confirmation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bring back her body or we something. something. We need like, something maybe... to body. Uh, we need or maybe just a way... finger? Maybe just her finger if a you can? Anyone near Art would take a chance to notice that Art is looking around at all the guards and back at the king multiple times. Ah. What, do they have something on <laughs> their face? Are you looking at Teddy Bear Man? And then, uh, hold on, is there, are you actually asking Art that? Let me just... Well, I'll say, like, like I notice you. I'll say, maybe not that specifically, but I didn't, like, I'll say I notice you looking around and say, like, hey, uh... What? Art, going Art's on? gonna just go, bad vibes. Listen to man, bad vibes. What is a vibe? Uh, that question throws Art into a little bit of an English spiral, and we can continue on with what the king's saying. 
Um, <laughs> well, like, if, I would like to hire if you're you. hiring us, what type of payment are you going to give us? I will Maybe that crown. give you anything you want within reason in, in my power. You may stay here at the castle until you leave, and we will get you transportation to go after the I dragon. Add, I would like to ask the king, uh, can I have your daughter? Yeah, the hand of the prince. I mean, well, if, if you, if she, I mean, if she's alive, I sure why not. I mean, if she's no. not alive, I mean that's, that's sure why not, that. future son-in-law. Thank you, thank you for acknowledging me already. <laughs> the Actually, guys next to him's like, wait, sir, who said the, I'm gonna be your son-in-law? <laughs> I just asked, can I have her? The the advisor next to him's like, sir. You can't make promises like that. Why can't I? I'm the king. It's too late. It's been documented. The <laughs> royal trans, the royal scripter has written it down. It's on record. Oh, shit. Um, I say as I point to like some like like poor peasant like writing down in the corner. They have a typewriter. Just, yeah. Like it's like a courtroom. Just yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, he's yeah, visibly yeah. starving. Um, and malnourished. And it's like, also, we don't have anything to spare for them. Oh, nonsense. We can give them a wagon and horses, and we can surely find something to give them. And uh, what is the payment of the dragon that we just took care of? What dragon you just took care of? The dragon that kidnapped my daughter? <laughs> I don't think we took care of it. Uh, <laughs> I think you are. You, I think you are dropping the gun there. Uh, you, can, you can manage that dialogue. <laughs> I'm not messing with you, my king. I would say if that I, deception was better, then maybe, man. But... No, that's a natural one, right? Your daughter's fine. That is a nat one. That is. So, that's so a nat as, one. You're, as you're as you're trying to do this, the the crown falls out of your bag, and like it goes ding ding ding, it rolls, and then lands in the middle of the room. Uh, Art will walk forward, grab it, and then go. Sorry about that, and hand it back to Severus. It's like, oh, the king's like, oh, hey, I have the same crown. It looks exactly like that. Art will just look over, different kingdom. Oh, but it has <laughs> the same royal seals. <laughs> different kingdom. <laughs> oh, oh, with what you just told me, come on, man. <laughs> that man doesn't notice this seal, let's be honest. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> notice the tiny crest. Oh, it. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was too busy picking up uh, dandelions uh, and blowing them and and goes, the dragon. You have good taste hide in that, hide that. Our Art's just gonna whisper, hide that. Hide what? <laughs> and perfect, as you hide, as you take it uh, onto your person. That works. <laughs> so yeah, you, uh, you guys can stay inside. We, no we witnesses. give you rooms in the castle, in the west wing of the castle, until you guys see oh, Make it the east. Sure, why not? East it is! Art Sir, starts please. pointing in directions, Sir, unsure which way's which. Sir, the east wing is under construction still. <laughs> Nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they can live through the sawdust. It so, has texture. Um, the, the vibe's <laughs> like, fine, I'll show them the way. Uh, you guys will uh, leave as soon as we get you your transportation. Nice. So, uh, Baldy here, Baldy Scardy guy, uh, will, uh, give you a gesture to follow him, and he can then show you to the East Wing that's still under construction. That How has, like, construction are we talking about? Uh, like, Walls aren't even put. Uh, there's uh, the textures aren't put on. The walls. Textures aren't put up. <laughs> there's like there's like um like canvases. There's like this weird up. purple and black checkerboard pattern. God damn it! 
Uh, Camus is still up. <laughs> uh, there's an exposed wall to the outside of the castle, and it's like a couple stories up, so it's just a drop. I, I think it's we a, will stay in the West Wing. Thank well, you. I would say, like, yes, I. Uh, Are you sure? I would like to, yes, I would you like seem to very go adamant the about wing. the East Wing. That it looks very him. lovely, that doesn't it? The, and he, like, that he points. Was, uh, the East man. Wing is where it's at. It's very indicative of the kingdom so far. <laughs> I am not poor. I, I mean, this this remodel is, is is remodel is fucking. Christ! Ah! Why do I even work for him anymore? You should come work for anyway. Me. Convince him to quit. <laughs> Here's a room. He shows you a giant. Uh, he shows you a giant room that is uh, the West Wing. There's literally no rooms. Basically, you you have like a giant area, and one of the walls are exposed to the outside. So this is the east wing. Yes. This is yeah, the west wing. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I under construction. Guys, I would uh, like to be in the west wing. I did not agree to be in the east wing. King says east wing. You guys get the east wing. Blame your team. Yeah. Over the, blame, blame your friend right there. Art, Art has no like to making this his home. Him. It's like I oh, have some cards brought up here. What was that? He said he wanted to do persuasion. Okay. Take us to the West Wing. Yeah, or Art's already starting to like looking at it. He's used to living in like terrible situations. He's already making himself comfortable. Oh wow! Can I persuade the guard to quit his job? Well, I mean, you could try. He said well, it wasn't the guard. That's the advisor that you're talking about. Oh, we were talking. Uh, that was the guard too. My understanding of that was the advisor, right? Christ right, Doc? Almighty. Yes, it's the advisor. He's like oh. okay. Yeah, oh, whoever, I win? whoever said that? Why? Why do they keep working for the guard or the king? Does he mm. do I win? He's, the he's, just, he's, he's he's visibly frustrated. It's like <laughs> anyway. It you so so it's like, oh god. So you guys want the? Wow. Oh. <laughs> I think he all right. All right. So, so let's start with before we get into the conversation about him quitting his job, which Drago's already. We're, we're all right. Let's say, where are we getting with the wing situation? So, what's happening? East wing, so, west wing? Do you, where do you guys want to be put up? There. Like, it's, I want to be put in the west. Okay. I okay. for a room, yes. Thank okay. You. If you go to the west wing, you guys get your individual rooms. So, there's dep like, there's uh, um, diplomatic I'll rooms. Share. Um, Art's going to make himself comfortable in the broken down room. The one that we got introduced to. Because he doesn't understand this East versus West thing, and he's just going to start setting up camp. He's going to start, like, making a bonfire. He's like, oh, uh, not that far, but he's, like, setting up, like, he's using, he's taking that bad. robe, and he's already setting it up to be, like, a pillow. And, like, he's ready to just he's basically like, camp uh, out in the open fucking wall. He's using his tools to... to level up his... Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 lighten the pot. <laughs> Who would like to have actual rooms? Me. The word actual is thrown art off. Art just looks over and goes, good. That's it. And he's going to continue, like, setting up camp. Since I speak orc, I will relate to art. Oh, perfect. Real, r real room. Dokra. Dokra? And then uh, Art's gonna uh, look at you and uh, uh, and he's gonna uh, go Morak uh, Etta, which is gonna be a question of running water. Uh, I'll ask uh, the advisor if the the, uh, the yes. real rooms have yes. Uh, what? what do you need? If they have, do they <laughs> running water? Do <laughs> the rooms have running Showers, water? Showers, shit like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They come. They come with indoor plumbing. Yes. Da. Da! <laughs> da! Da! Up Boom, and he's just like, yeah! And he's like ready to go along with you now. He's okay. in. He's following <laughs> right alongside. Remember, this is gonna be the only one that sees this. <laughs> oh, Ram 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 I guess Randy's here. Randy's here too, isn't he? 
I mean, I'm just expecting Severus to run off in the night and make a good living for himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, yeah, I'm yeah. sleeping in the king's chamber tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, he's gonna sneak in oh, there. Oh, oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, he's gonna he sneak says, in with the me? Me? Like, Okay, I'm so I'll show you guys to the West Wing. <laughs> Sneak and into I, the uh, king's uh, bed chambers and bed the wife. I, uh, <laughs> while passing, by, I would like to pass by the advisor and say, like, hey, uh, if you'd like a different <laughs> job, I, 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 I can offer you one. I know a good bra. I have a brothel, and you seem like you'd be a good fit for it. <laughs> and there's something to be said <laughs> of, like, card. <laughs> Severus, Severus also is trying to convince that guy to quit. Now's the chance before he goes to the other wing, by the way. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, so, still want to do that? Oh. Yes. No. Ooh, if I do my thing before, <laughs> after his persuasion. No, I've been, I've been advi I've been advisor to, to his father and his father. Oh, it's, it's a tempting it's, offer. It's very, it's very tempting, but like. <laughs> well, consider, you can consider my offer as well. I Actually, you could, you could roll yours if you, oh yeah, yours persuasion was above, right? Never mind. Well, I mean that was my persuasion to go to the east, to go to the west. Coast. You could try to re-persuade because it's a different conversation. So you could roll a yeah. persuasion. You will need a net twenty to beat Doc uh... because Doc's Doc's rolled a twenty. So if you get a net twenty, then if you have a bonus that works, Wait, that was Doc. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Thank net 20. God. Oh, Doc did roll 20, yeah. Thank fucking God. Oh, damn it. I wanted him to be in my brothel. Yeah, man. Yeah, he looks Not today. Right? So, uh... <laughs> well, I, I give him a smack on the ass as I pass by. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the king likes Jesus. me. I, I can do what I want in this domain. Jesus. He's already... Hey. I have a son-in-law. He can't touch me. <laughs> Not yet, you are. Like Future intimidation roll or something. <laughs> yeah, careful on that one, man. Huh? Anywho. It's, it's, that statement's an intimidation roll, basically. Well, I'm not, I'm, not, like, I'm, not, well, I'm not trying to intimidate so, him. If you were to say something to me. Yeah. So, Drago, Drago, you're staying in the East Wing? I got to. I'm going to stand my ground. Okay, he, he brings everyone else to the West Wing. Uh, on, on his, on my way out, I'll hand Severus the coat to keep him warm. The one that I stole, that I got off the cultist. The king's robes, I'm gonna be warm. <laughs> just like how you immediately... He, all right, all right I'll, accept, just, I'll accept, I'll accept. Uh, he's just, my character's very kind, and he, is, he was using it, he was gonna use it as like a blanket slash pillow himself. And he's gonna hand it off to you, and he's gonna just basically say in Orcish, uh, stay warm. I'm, I, I, I'm trying to, uh, uh, Stawa, the best I could do. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> I'll use it's my, uh, hold on. Uh, Is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. And I will communicate with you telepathically and thank you for the occultist robes. Mm. I'll, also, the crown, maybe? The one I picked no. up from the floor oh, and yeah, handed yeah, back yeah. to you? I'll, 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 I'll thank you for this. Just... No. Hey, and and then, I'll, then... I'll tell you to keep it between us. Understanding your gratitude, uh, Art's gonna look at you and go, "Good, good keep." Like he's basically gonna be like, "That's good that you kept that. Keep that on you. Don't give that back." If you're gonna get a real good understanding that you having that crown is better than the other situation of the king having. You won't know why yet, but you yeah, know that. Yeah, because jeez, Freelos found yeah. some dirt. I was really hoping that it was gonna be you rolling that twenty, and then he's just gonna be, "Nah, he's just stupid." <laughs> I was really I hoping that would be the case. It's like, yeah, roll the net twenty. Like, no, he's just stupid. He just doesn't but understand. You get some insight that right now Art does not trust the king at all. And so, yeah, hands you the robe. He's right. Keep you warm. I, he no trust. Yeah, well, luckily it's an orcish, so it's it's actually Art just being like it it you know a language you could understand of like. Damn, you don't trust him. Like, like Randy doesn't trust you. Yeah. Totally. To fucking totally, actually. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, so the advisor does bring you to the nicer rooms. Mm. They're super fancy, have their own bathrooms. Go on. Thank you, sir. Is there enough this, rooms for everybody? Or... Individual rooms? Are we bunk mating? Oh. Okay. 
Uh, Art's so gonna anyone... jam his shield under the doorknob and the door, so it like makes it so you can't open the door inward on him. Oh. And, uh, and this is something no one else will know, but I'm doing that as a character, and then Art's gonna go take a shower. Get off all the shenanigans from the fight earlier. Yeah, I'll pick a room and I'll do some. Uh, in my room, I'm gonna put an alarm down in my room and, and also do my fine familiar again. Start making my owl again. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, kill that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna peek through the, the hole in the doorknob in your room for a moment before going off to my room. And then, uh, okay. you know, I settle down and then I get in for a shower cool. to clean all the maybe leftover vomit and shit from my mouth and that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Randy, you get to your room. Is there anything you're doing yep. in particular when your character Ra walks gonna, in? He's going to start uh, taking care of my son. The hentai? Gotcha. Yep, yep. Give him some potatoes, water. He crooks at you. Lovingly. He crooks at you lovingly. No. That's good. Right. Cl and we're gonna. We're, me and my son are gonna go to sleep. Oh. We're gonna cuddle. Hey, does anyone else wanna do anything before you sleep for this? Uh... I'm just. I'm just sitting in a meditative meditative pose in the center once I'm done with my spells just gonna get my four hours of rest that way wait let me see if I made a wait did I what did I choose as my spell it's like hold on uh Art's gonna uh after the shower proceed to sit basically at the door tinkering on his shield while it's used to prop the door like lock um uh, this is the canonical way of me increasing my armor class by one through one of my oh. tinkering abilities oh. So, uh, Art's going to 20 AC for future reference. Alright, um, well, after my shower, I would like to cast Unseen Servant in my room. Okay. And and then cast Minor Illusion on it. Right. Uh, to give it a form. And, uh, I plan to have a, uh, a good you still time. Got, you still got spell slots? Yeah, no, well, he, didn't do, he didn't do a goddamn thing during that fight. He's <laughs> the fucking crowd. He's too busy shitting his pants. He, he did busy. minor illusion, right? Yeah, to get that's the crowd. Cantrip. That's cantrip, though. Yeah, I'm yeah, just, true. I'm like, what rituals can I cast since I'm out of spell slots for the day? <laughs> yeah, 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 me and you are in the boat. Yeah, I'm out of again, fuck, boy. Again, during that entire fight, it looks like you guys were protecting a small crowd of. Civilians. Civilians, yeah, yeah. That smelled awful. You were just protecting oh, a, 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 a I mean... pervert bar who was shitting and vomiting. Who <laughs> 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 drank one of the How many of those yes, potions you got left potions. out of curiosity? Huh? What? How many of those potions you got left out of curiosity? Uh, probably four. More meta knowledge. Yeah, okay. But yeah, so you know, I cast uh, Unseen Servant and then Minor Illusion to make a glorious figure, yep. and then I proceed to have a, an eventful night cool. with them. Just so Making, you know, like more putting emphasis on my name, the layer. Would so Minor you know, Illusion get fucked up with that? My prestidigitation when I clean things, when the spell wears off, the stuff comes back. So when an well, he hour, said he took a shower. Well, okay. I said he was going to wash up. I didn't know it comes back. It does, yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, I took a shower. Wait, is that just for the smell or the literally? Because you like, or the, the actual shit's gonna come back. No, if you <laughs> clean something, it'll soil again in an hour. Yeah. Oh, oh so wait, so the like the shit you cleaned off of me will just <laughs> peel back on me? Yeah. I would love it, I would love it wait, if you that... went, you went and took a shower and then got out and then the smell wore off. <laughs> oh, it's kind of fair. Wait, but I took a shower. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah because back. yeah, because it's magically removed from you and then put back on to you. Yeah, it's only oh got a duration God. of an hour. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I also what? have a uh, can I also have a cannon? Well, then how come that wasn't a thing his, before? Uh... How come you didn't mention that last time when we were in the sewer? Well, he Ooh. That was oh, yeah. that was for smells, right? No, but you I think you no, also that was for smell, yeah. Came... 
Oh, true, yeah. Less so the physical dirt and grime and literal puke and vomit and but, shit I mean, all over you. I think it's already been an hour because right now when we okay, were in the king, fair. you got rid of the smell. You, I asked you last time to Timing's get rid of the smell. a bit awkward vomit. on this, yeah. Yeah, no, this would have, yeah, it's, it was been a longer than an hour. For, for the sake of moving it forward, we'll say yeah, that, just like, recasting. just before you get in the show. I am not going to myself while fucking my unseen servant, okay? Hey, just before <laughs> you get in the along. shower, you recognize the smell and that everything has come back. That is why you took the shower. Let's make that king. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sure. Sounds good. Yeah, what, yeah. That sure. lines, that lines with logic and timing a little better. You hear creak, creak, creakity creak, okay. Yeah, I uh, fair. Uh, no, 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 no. performance. <laughs> Can we also get a check right, on, the, on the length? No, not yet. If if okay. would he finally actually another human being who will do that okay. or something? Yeah. Does, not, when I do another human being, it'll be what? We'll roll Checking your, your characters. Yeah. I'm pretty sure right now has one hit point. So hey, look at that. Okay, it, you you do have a sizable creak creak creaking noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can hear the illusion, the thing you had made, like, enjoying the performance. And you still end up somehow hearing, even though it shouldn't be possible, you hear the unseen Unst servant. Yeah. <laughs> you hear their, you hear their uh, reaction to the eventful night. Yeah, my only thought with minor illusion is, is, is the whole, like, doesn't touch fuck up minor illusion, but well, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be exception around the holes. Exception or does that answer your question? I don't know if that's how that works, but we'll let it slide. Oh, it's fine. I, li I like this idea. It's fine. I this the fact that you I, were clever I, enough to come up with this, this, you're not taking this yeah, away from me now. No, no, I, can, I understand. You were clever enough to come up with it. Roll with it. It's fine. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if they felt whoa. anything, then the illusion should go away. If they felt nothing, eh. Does anyone else want to do stuff before uh, the night is ended? I search my room. You mean the... <laughs> Whatever <laughs> I mean. The ruins of where you sleep? Sure. Yeah. Uh, nothing, investigation. There's nothing much here. Ooh, is that a pile of asbestos in the corner? Ah, 18. I was... You're able to find you're... the comfortable corner of the room. They brought up a cot for you, like... You find the corner that has the least as, as like, best You there. find construction stuff, like, I don't know what to tell you. This, this Can I create, something. like, a, a piece, like, like a rubble, like, tent or something? If you want. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like, when you're young, you create, like, what, like a, a bed sheet like tent a, or something? Like a pillow yeah. fort? Yeah. You're trying like to make a pillow fort, fort out of the with construction the, the material? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's I've never thought about construction in a D and D sense. One moment. I'll, that I'll wouldn't be performance. Survival. 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 Uh, yeah, that makes more sense. Or slide a hand to see if you can stack them up. Yeah, I mean. That's also lands. Survival hand lands as well. So I would say the the well, question is where would we think the base skill lands? Obviously, construction like a. Um... I was just thinking because it's pillows, like, but yeah. Well, no, this is construction material. Yeah, 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 that's why it's a little bit less. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, think, I think survival. So, construction let's... like a constructing like a um. It's know. a skill for building like a uh, uh, what, what's shelter, the word? Shelter. Yeah, 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 both of us are fucking failing to get it. Goddamn Pennsylvania education. All right, fourteen. Damn, are you turning? Is the king's education right off on you? Uh, pretty much. Welcome yeah. to PA. <laughs> We're a commonwealth, baby, not even a state. Whoa, the commonwealth? Like, Fallout? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well be Fallout out there. Pennsylvania's a fucking commonwealth. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm not going to disagree with that sentence, man. We got a fucking coal fire that'll never end in fucking, uh, what is that, Trinity? I don't know why. This just reminded me. Apparently, like, my friend that also, like, lives somewhere near me. Uh, apparently, like they got like a gun pointed at them yesterday. Something. Okay, so you Jesus do, sounds like Philly. You do make a uh, a a well constructed pillow fort esque thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll crawl up underneath there and hurdle up. Okay. So okay, so 
It's gonna take a couple days to uh, get your wagon and horses in that amount of time. Do you guys want to do anything like shopping wise or anything, or you just want to skip to the thing? Uh, Art's gonna study that book, so I guess what are we what are we doing for that history checks? Uh, I don't remember. I think it was I'll, either. History I think it or was history. Uh, either one's a plus five, so it's the same roll for me. So, history. Yep. And then, uh, so that's the th third one I've passed, Doc give you an idea on checklist because i know i passed two by previous yep and you know what oh shit computer's going oh to sleep. god computer's going to sleep computer's going to sleep okay here we go uh, wake it up wake it up you do so okay so you don't you still you still can't quite grasp the language yet yeah the dead language you do see the emblem from the the rope Oh, okay. On a couple of pages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roger. Uh, during this time, Polycai is just practicing uh, with his new rapier and trying to learn some new spells, basically leveling up. But yeah. Uh, and then how many days are we here, Doc, just to give an actual one day, two day? Let's say three. Um, so for... Uh, we'll call this day one activities, everybody. Anyone else got day one activities you're doing? This might be a bit quicker than us trying to do the whole, like, setting up of the festival just so we can speed along into more yeah, plot yeah, trainee yeah. stuff, by yeah. the way. So if you have something that you want to do, like maybe Snarf wants to visit his farmer friend while he's closing up shop because things are shutting down, or if anyone wants to visit some of the stalls from the festival while they're still open today, maybe the day after, that makes sense. Now is the time to go do so. Uh, Polykai and me have already decided what we're doing on day one. Day one, everyone else. Uh, do they have a library or anything in the, they... the castle? In the castle? Ooh. Unlikely. Hmm? 60-40. Very dusty. Wait, have you castle. seen the king? Yeah. Well, he... he... I can't There's... spoil... Anyway. There is a royal <laughs> library. That'll be where Art is reading his book, then, if Severus shows up there. Yeah, can I show up and look for any books on Athena? Sure. Any, like, history books on Athena or something like that? I mean, when, you get the, when you get the book for Athena, what do you do? So you gotta, let's say you find a book for Athena. Did I find one? Yeah, I would Doc. say, yeah. I mean, library. You, can find... you know what? Roll an investigation, unless you want to have Art help you find the book, because, you know, he's a librarian. Totally allowed. I mean, he if I fail my investigation, he knows, he knows, could I ask for assistance from Art? But of course, yeah. He knows the, you can try and investigate yourself, and yeah, then if that doesn't work... Yeah, I'll, do that. I'll look around myself. System. <laughs> wow, that's a net 20. Fucking, the first book you pull off the shelf... Not even looking... You just walk up to a bookshelf, pulled out the the uh, the premier limited edition first Boys. the first limited edition, first edition first edition <laughs> first uh, edition his, Poseidon card history of Athena the the true story. Uh, art can be found at like one of those tables in the library reading his book that is very unknown to you like wild book like doesn't look like anything else in this library well, uh, i'll set up on some furniture whatever they have and i'll begin reading by the way so, crazy that ever, you know what uh, 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 so you notices you in the library gives a little wave over player. to you just like a little like hello i'll gesture back uh, and also, then uh of the nat 20 you mm. find a limited edition oh, God damn card. And oh my nice. god. He's That's finding it all like, and use it, it as a bookmark. Like, it looks like it someone a was doing it as a bookmark. Yeah, I love that. That's fucking great. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. This guy's... It's a natural 20. 
Oh my God. Hey, look, Doc, if that 20s just get people limited cards in this fictional universe, that's going to break the cool. campaign less. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I way. think I should have gotten one for my, like, amazing roll, tw like, my 20 roll earlier, you know? <laughs> you know, Tom? <laughs> Will it duck and fall in the Honestly, you know about dragon. Seven, seven yeah, yeah, the I got the dragon broken. card. I got the dragon card. That's what I got. It's like I remembered <laughs> yeah, that I have a dragon broken. card because of, the, because of the history check in the middle of like <laughs> you get a card. <laughs> Summons. <laughs> oh god. God, now I really need to fucking devise a card game for this. Fuck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so how about, like, I own, how about, like, huge. quick question, how about from, like, my 20 on, like, in, like, on the history check, I remember that I own, like, um, I actually have my own limited edition dragon card. <laughs> why, would, why would that be in the history check? Like, you know, because, like, I, because I rolled a 20 as well, and, like, I, I, after thinking oh, about read, it and remembering I the dragon, that. I was like, oh, I, wait, read I, that. I read the I read the weakness on the That's card. That's where you learned it. Okay, yeah, I like that. I, I read the weakness on the card. I like that. That's a way to make that canon. I can see that. It also makes sense. Since, you yeah. Know, I wouldn't think that, uh, Flint would be bookish. Yeah, exactly. He learned his history be, from the back of baseball wet. cards. That lands. <laughs> you ain't you ain't reading books. That's not happening. <laughs> or the books you read oh, wow. are definitely <laughs> not history. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, yeah definitely it's not history. <laughs> but meanwhile, like you remember the details. Like, where, where uh, I, like, I, card, I like that. It's like when you read like the flavor text on like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. That's what you remember it from. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, like. Can I, where the heck did I put all my right. character sheet? So, uh, Severus, Polykai, and myself have all figured out what we're doing for the day. Well, uh, what are what are we doing? Yeah. What what's what's yeah. the remainder? I, th I think Polykai we... is staying in the room the whole day. By the way, just letting oh. you that know. Yeah, Roger. Okay, I think Randy's gonna also go to the library. Okay. Can yeah. Randy read? No. Okay. No, he He's only gonna try. This. No, for sure. Fair enough. We've established that he's not... Okay, oh, I found my character sheet. There we go. He's, he's going to find the first book he finds, and he's going to start trying to read it. Okay. Oh, is my oh, dragon I card a foil? Just... All right. Real quick, uh, Doc, is my card a foil? Uh, it's not a foil. Oh. I'm sorry. I'll say, uh, mint... I'll say good condition. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first book you pulled off, um, shit. Bernstein Bears. Heck yeah, brother. I remember I learned a piece of no, food from them. it's Franklin the Turtle. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, that lands. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Franklin the Druid Turtle. Why do they have this in the <laughs> Royal Library? Yeah, whatever. Well, the kids got to read. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Art sees you. Hold on, hold on. Can I try and perceive There's... him picking that book up? It has a lot of pictures, though, so. <laughs> yeah. I like I, mean, I like to read I mean, with a sure, lot of you, pictures, you, you know see... what I'm saying? I mean, unless he's sneaking, you don't have to perceive him. I mean, he hasn't okay. like, roll anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I can see him picking up the, like, the child's book and seeing it, um... I, I'll assume that as a librarian, my character somewhat recognizes the book, and he just gives the thumbs up across the table to Randy, like a good choice in book, because that's fucking fantastic. Uh, give the thumbs thumbs back. You see a little smile over Art, and then he goes back to reading his stuff, where, where he is now learning about these like symbols and shit like that today. Mm -hmm. uh, Randy's going to go find a table, and he's going to try his damn best. What the fuck do you roll to try to read? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess it could um, be insight. intelligence. Yeah, whatever your in the fair would be. Like yeah, his body so. can handle the distress of trying to learn. Ooh, shit, son. Uh, you enjoyed the pictures. There's a lot of pretty pictures. <laughs> you enjoy the pictures. <laughs> yeah, every time he flips a page, he giggles. 
He's muttering to himself. Oh, hey, I, I like that. Kind of potato that <laughs> That's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, you don't even know That's what a bear is. Like, That's weird because it's a, dog. a turtle on the cover. <laughs> just art hears from a distance ooh a bear and he's like is that the right animal and he just goes back to reading his book <laughs> uh, so uh you know, we'll say day two um Shopping, you know, maybe get some potions. Some um, potions, some, uh, potions are talking. Oh, some random effect potions that could potentially kill you. Maybe not. Is the owl <laughs> gonna go wait, do wait, something? Wait, wait, wait. He has the option to get more. Is he get something? I mean, they ha he has a yeah. shop, in it's town. a store. store. Yeah, yeah, oh, wait, he's oh, wait, sorry, it's because I, I stepped out for a second. It's Fuck, what I name this man? Give me a second. I have to actually Jesse's, look up something. Jesse, Jesse's that's potions. it, thank you. Jesse's potion shop. Uh, Dude, I... like, no, I, I, the shop is gonna be like, Jesse's... If he's not in the ca I thought Randy was in the castle with us, honestly. No, what? I thought, he, I thought Randy was in the castle with us. That's a Jesse. Yeah, Randy oh, is in the castle. Yeah. Oh. I thought... Okay, I'm, I'm getting myself confused. Yeah, Jesse, yeah. So, Jesse appeared inside the castle, I see. Oh, no, he's... There's a shop in town. I'm just saying, you guys will have to stay oh. inside the castle for the next three days. Yeah, so at this Wait, point, we we've all... So, at this point, we've all been hired for a job that's going to happen oh, yeah. in about three we're days, and all for the characters uh... are waiting for the supplies and the horses yeah. to come in. In the meantime, your character can prep however they would prep for said job. Yeah. I see. Oh, so, like, we can leave the castle now? Correct. We can go yeah, shop, we can go check stalls, we can do anything like that of that nature. Uh, our rooms are not going to be at an inn when you end your night. Unless you wanted it to be, it'll be back at the castle is the base. I see. Um, it's their room today. I know I would like to leave my room. Yeah, Art's gonna leave the castle today for sure. I am for sure. I'll also leave. Let's let's go back to like a. Uh... Uh, Randy, are you uh, chilling in the castle today again, trying to learn how to read? Or are you nope. gonna do something? Same fucking thing. So you're gonna. Uh, so let's start with you, cause yours is basic. Yeah. Uh, Randy goes in the library, picks up another book. Roll a d20. Let's see what you get this time. Fuck. Okay, this time you pick up a cookbook. Ooh. Uh, there's pictures of food and a lot of words. <laughs> That's a rabbit. You, you understand the numbers better, actually. Yeah. Like, you understand that part better than the words. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Polykai is also staying at the castle, not going out. Uh, Polykai is summer today, so he will spend the whole day talking to nobles and trying to impress them with nothing. <laughs> with how beautiful he is and how perfect in every way he is. Okay. And so, yeah, that's just all he's doing. You impressed the king, by the way. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> I think so. The most summer attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, Art's going to yeah, head uh, over to the uh, random potion vendor, head to Jesse's, and uh, walk in the door looking at the supplies of what he has. And you can start the convo how you want there, Doc. Right, well, there's, there's really if there's no other people. I was gonna say, there's no in the so in the shop at the moment. Uh, there's a bell that says ring. Uh, there's, a, there's a bell at the counter that has a sign that says ring for service. Um. um I'm gonna roll an insight for my character because I don't know that he'd understand that. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm just gonna. The only thing I could think that makes sense for whether or not I'm gonna understand that is insight. Okay. Well, it's not gonna be the worst. It's not gonna be great. Yeah, yeah Art's yeah. gonna stand there at the bell. And he's just gonna like sit there, and he's gonna have a jug in his hand, and he's gonna start just kind of tapping the jug on the counter, trying to see if anyone's around. And you just hear him going, "Hello, dun dun, hello, dun dun." That'll be where he's left off, by the way, unless something changes. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, uh, so there's a, hey, how can I help you? Right from, from right behind you, by the way. Uh, okay, Art, very startled, is going to, like, uh, uh, jump back, and then, uh, in, uh, he's just gonna, uh, is, he, is he gonna jump back into Jesse? No, like, away from Jesse, is what I'm saying. Okay. He's gonna, like, turn, see him, and with the hello, like, jump basically into the counter and like like kind of like push himself against the counter as far as possible and he's just gonna like scream and he's just gonna be like ah, ah, ah. <sighs> so now he's out of breath so jesse can go on whatever conversation you're about to have art is kind of sitting there like who is this madman what can i get for you i'm jesse this is my shop <laughs> as he gets closer art starts to kind of panic Art's going to just go, oh, uh, open for trades. What was that? Open for trades. Dude, if you trade open me for money, trade. If you trade me gold for my surfaces, yeah. Art's going to have his jug, and he's just going to kind of go, uh, uh, beer, honey, oil, poison. Trade? Is that what you want? Hey, so you're trading that to me. <laughs> Art's not sure how to answer that, and he's going to point at it, and he's going to point at the jug, and he's going to go, this give acid, poison, beer, honey, and he's just kind of like going through a list of things that he can trade you. Whether or not Jesse understands that is up to you. You could land there. Jesse will take the jug. Uh, Art is not letting go of Jug. Art is holding Jug and going, no, pour. Well, I needed to pour stuff into it. No, no, no. And Art's trying to his damnedest to explain <laughs> that the thing he's trying to trade, and he goes, this give poison beer. And he tries to say the word, and he goes, uh, uh, Myonase? Myonase. This give. No you take. So mayonnaise here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Jesse just All stares at you. <laughs> we don't have instruments. Like, Art's, Art's attempt here is to go to the potion vendor of the area to sell him something he can use in his potions, such as acid, poison, Oil, vinegar, water, stuff like that. Uh, uh, Jesse will go around the corner, disappear underneath the corner, uh, underneath the counter, and then uh, you see a whole bunch of like uh, of vials getting like tossed up onto the up of the counter. Like empty vials? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Well, no, they're not empty, but they have the stuff that you're describing. Oh. Is this, and so is this what you need? <laughs> oh. And all uh, I, uh, uh, I don't need. Do you need more? Oh, you're selling me those things. Trade, but yes. I mean, it depends on what you want. <laughs> oh, Art's going to ask... Uh, he's going to start mumbling in Orcish and trying to figure out the math on it. And then go, uh, two gallons, uh, mile nasse? Trade good? I'm sorry, two gallons of mayonnaise? Mayonnaise! 
And Arch, Arch, Arch gonna write in his little book like the pronunciation of mayonnaise. And he goes, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. And that's a question to Jesse. Is that an instrument? And Jesse's gonna <laughs> miscon... And Jesse's already, like, turned, like... I don't... He's, like, shifting through stuff. I'm sorry, we don't have mayonnaise here. No, no, um... I give mayonnaise for what oh. you sell. Okay. Two gallons. What do you want? Oh, uh, what can this get me? Uh, it's like looking around the shop. Uh, but I re I... Is there anything specific you need? Um... Going to combat. It's like, it's like need... he, he, he picks up like... like uh, uh, like, fake dog poop. He's like, I mean, I could give you this! That's like fake, it's like a fake turd, and he goes, Art goes, no, uh, um... Or I give you this! And he pulls out, like, like, um, um... Uh... What are you looking for? Description. Yeah, Doc, any word will help the rest of us figure it out with you, man. I'm trying to think of something. Oh, oh, oh Roger. Okay, okay. We're stuck on full blanks. Got it. <laughs> full blanks. Full stop. Um, <laughs> uh, he pulls out a book. Oh, Art's art eyes light up and goes, Ooh. And, then, and then he flips it open and each page is a blank. Art's confused. But Art could use a new journal. Art goes... It all depends what you need! Art goes, book good. Uh, uh, he, he points kind of at, like, an interior version of his outside sign. He goes, potions, though? Book good. Oh. Potions? Oh, uh, what kind of potions do you need? Like, I need uh, specific, uh, sir. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to help here, sir, but, like, I, I, I need you need to help me help you help you help me sort of situation here. That language just went right over Art. Art's not going to even be able to comprehend what you just said. Um, Art's just kind of guy, kind of nod his head and go, "Uh huh." Um. Um. How much mayonnaise for book? Uh, this. Uh. Half a gallon, I guess. <laughs> oh God! Uh, You're gonna be stuck with a gallon and a half. What? No, that's not how that works. Cause you can't stop pouring once you start. Uh. So, uh, Art, not really understanding, goes, "Okay, uh, anything else for two gallon mayonnaise?" He's like. Jesse's struggling here. Now you're having oh, Jesse for sure. struggling because he's like, I don't, I don't know what he needs. Like he's not, he's not telling me what he needs. Uh, potions. Um, um, Art's and, trying to he's, think. And, and, uh, and Jesse's trying to be the most polite ever, but he's like, he's, he's struggling here because it's like, Jesse, Jesse's um, patience kind of. Jesse's like, I, medical potions. Oh, uh... Tries to narrow it down. He... Pulls out, like... Two normal healing potions, I guess. And then he goes... Two gallons? Book? Potions? Sure! Um... Do you have, a uh, Bucket? He's, uh, he pulls out, uh, he pulls out a bucket. Yeah, assumingly nowhere. Uh, and Art's proceeding to just tilt out this jug. And the jug is going to pour out, slowly, two gallons of mayonnaise into said bucket. Is it really mayonnaise? 
<laughs> yes, it is. There, there's two gallons of mayonnaise in this bucket. I'm, I'm, this is like, I'm no, not joking. No, no, no. That was heavy, no, no, man. Like, when, you, when you first said the words, like, I... I was trying to make him Again, when did this happen? When did you get two gallons of mayonnaise? Yeah, uh, so, so, mayonnaise? Uh, so one of the things I get when I level up as an artificer is I can get items. I got an alchemy jug. Alchemy jugs can be used to produce an item magically. And they can only produce that item in that day. They can recharge every day. And they can only produce up to the amount. And they can't stop producing the amount until all of it's produced. So in other words, if you commit to mayonnaise... It's pouring two fucking gallons of mayonnaise, and that's all it's doing all day. I don't know if that's if you have to pour it all out at once. I know that if you stop, you can't switch. So yeah, I'm you, trying to make the best you, the two you, gallons. You, you name one thing, and it yeah. fills up with two gallons. I don't know if you have to pour it all out immediately at the end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't make anything else that day. Yeah. Okay, you have now have a blank book and. Three, two health potions. Uh, by the way, it uh, this uh this liquid comes out at two gallons a minute, so it takes him a full minute of standing in front of Jesse pouring out mayonnaise. It was the, <laughs> most, awkward, it was the most awkward minute possible. <laughs> with, like with direct a... eye contact. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, as the last bit comes out, Art just shakes the jug a little to get the last couple drops out. <laughs> It taps it, puts it on his satchel, like hooked to his belt, proceeds to grab the potions and the book, throw the book into the back, into his bag, throw the potions onto his person, and just will look at Jesse and go, thank you very much. If you need more, let me know. I, I think this will tie me over for a while. <laughs> And then that'll be the uh, end of Art doing his bartering. Uh, I thought about just going and uh, over to the pub and asking them if they wanted to buy beer off him because I can produce yeah. four gallons of it. But I felt this would be more entertaining. Anyway. Oh, uh, he was just listing shit it could make. You, uh, uh, It could have been anything. Uh, okay. So my yeah. Mis so my misunderstanding of what you said... Yeah. Mayonnaise. Yeah, correct. <laughs> it could have been four <laughs> gallons of beer, a gallon of honey. It could have been 12 gallons of salt water, eight gallons of fresh water, a gallon of wine. Like, it, there, it could have been a half ounce of poison. It could have been eight ounces of acid. Like, uh, this is where the communication barrier failed, and somehow Jesse traded for mayonnaise. <laughs> That's okay. a very good utility item. <laughs> Love it. All right. uh, who's next? Who didn't go yet? I haven't gone yet. Uh, Who else? Sandra also hasn't gone. Yeah. Uh, so, either one. You can go, Sandra. Ugh. Oh. You teach me the dark, how the protection against the dark arts. Well, do you want to come with me? Uh, depends on where you're going. The trading card store, of course. <laughs> Alright, well. I can do multiple things in the day, can't I? Yeah, we'll say about like two or three, I guess. All right. Well, I guess I will follow Drago. I'll somehow I'll I'll somehow find out that Severus is going to a card store, and I will somehow accompany him, even though we're on complete opposite wings of the castle. I mean. I... Assuming we have breakfast, yeah. you guys have a, uh, there's a breakfast hall. And, oh, yeah, I suppose. You know, yeah. went downstairs for the continental breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> there's a very good hotel. Oh, slash yeah. Castle. Hotel breakfast? Hotel breakfast. Since I didn't leave my room, I'm marking off rations for that day. Yeah. Okay, so. Card shop. You, you found... You found a car, like a, a, you found a hobby shop that sells cards. Uh, why did oh. you like groan at it? Like, mm. I'm happy. Oh, bro, that was weird. You cannot tell me that's weird. <laughs> I so can't. All right, I'll go, go up go to on. the counter and. I ask. I just approach. I approach behind Severus as he does oh, his actions. Ask the gentleman. Uh, 
what are the finest cards you have for sale? Uh, they just sell packs. Oh, no, <sighs> fine. They sell packs and... Oh, God, I'm going to regret this. They do have, like, on display, like, their, their rare cards. Ooh. They have on display their what? They have their rare, rare cards. Rare cards. Like, there's, there's, like, I'll say three of them. Which three? <laughs> yeah, what are the three? There's another Athena card. Okay. Um, is it a platinum Athena though? Yeah. Is it no, uh, is, is it no, worth? No, 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 or? No, 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 no. It's, it's a limited it's, edition. It's it's a limited <laughs> edition, but not it's not holographic or anything. It's just it's just a parody one where they have like a special outfit. Um. There's a. There's a Presiding card, non holographic. I'll do it. And. Come on, Doug. A field card. A uh, what? Mount a what else? Oh, I see. I would like to see what is the. What is the status of the Mount Olympus card? Like, what is its, like, grade? You know, like, is it platinum, you know? Is it, like, what kind of... What's the quality of it? Mint, use, bent. Oh. Yeah. Uh, also something to consider. Is it mint, platinum, supposed to be, like... It's... It's... Holographic? Laminate, it's laminated mint condition. Nothing else? Like Super it isn't rare. like, it isn't like holographic or. Uh, no, the holographic. Or platinum. The holographics are super like super duper rare. What and the platinum isn't as rare. I mean, the platinum is like one of a kind. Well, is it a? Are any of them platinum? No. All right, I am not interested particularly, but I may. What's, what's the quality of the Poseidon and the Athena? I'll well, you said the Athena was just an unlimited one, but what about the Poseidon? Poseidon? Uh, it's just rare. What's so rare about them? Like, you're just saying it's rare. It's just like the fact that... It's like a uh, rare, it would be like a Yu-Gi-Oh card quality where you're guaranteed one rare per pack. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it has like uh, it has a shiny name. Mm-hmm. It has like one of those shiny silvery names, and that's about it. Alright. They're like, they're, like they're common, but they're still rare. Uh, this sort of situation. It, I'm gonna ask. They say, the... they say it's rare, but like, you see them a lot. Mm hmm. I'm gonna ask the shop owner if they would be interested in a pack battle. A what? A pack battle. Okay, so we haven't defined up. the rules of this yeah, game yet. Are you yeah, saying what are you I'm talking just, about? Like, yeah, I was gonna say we, I I have to. So we would open after, up. You would both would open up packs, packs and a pair. You mean, you mean like, oh yeah, see who gets the had, better cards. Yes, and then they win all the packs. Uh, why why am I thinking that now? Drago's character heard pack when. His god was like, you want to enter a pact with me? <laughs> was like, yes, absolutely. I'll take a pack of cards. His nether, his, the nether god is soul. fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Yu-Gi in fucking shadow form. Oh, god. You know what? Your, uh, your snake companion is rolling their eyes, by the way. <laughs> Seto Kaiba is now your god. I say we do five packs each. And if I win, I want all the packs I got for free, plus I pick one of the three uh, rare I'll, cards I'll you have listed. Okay. Uh, why would we do this? Yeah. All right. Because um. if I lose, I'll flash this... Uh,
I'll yeah, you gotta give my some first edition Zeus trading card bookmark edition. <laughs> ah, the bookmark, bookmark card. Edition. I'll flash that one. At him. <laughs> it's a, it's a... So you no, you're gonna so you're basically you're putting that up as collateral for the bet. Yes. Clarify. And, All right, and I. No, it's react? first edition Zeus. I could, that could be. Wait, you said Poseidon, right? What? No, first edition no. Zeus trading no. cards. Zeus, 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 Zeus. Okay, Zeus, 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 Zeus. Confirming. Poseidon confirming. was yeah. one of the ones on display. Roger, Roger. Okay. Uh, and the ones dragging the lines. You know what? I could use that for my collection. What the hell? So what do we'll you do, think? We'll do, we'll do three packs. Oh. I would like to, I would like to persuade him. I will, I will, before. I will take the Zeus card back off the table and I'll start sliding back in my pocket and be like, all right, if you don't want to do it, we don't have to do it. I mean, that's a lot of, there's a lot of packs. I mean, are you, are you aiming for persuasion right. there? Yeah, I want to roll for persuasion and try to persuade the owner to go for the five packs. So, so you both can do that if you wanted to collectively. So you could both do it independently and see if there's a success. <laughs> oh, that's a nat one, good sir. You just, that's a nat one. You are rolling like crazy today. Nat ones and uh, and, 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 oh, sad, and sadly, Flint didn't exactly get a good enough roll to counterbalance that. So. As you pull the card back and you're trying to convince the man, uh, I mean, the meanest thing I could say is you bend the card. Ooh. You scratch off a bit of its, like, the luster. The, the hollow to it, yeah. You, uh, I mean, there's a couple board. ways to land that. So we slide the Zeus card back off the table. It got it, it. It gets stuck on the counter on, on its way when when you're pulling it towards you. Told you, there's a like a splinter in the, the the counter, like a loose nail or something. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, rips the side of the card. It's the card's still like functionally it would be used okay in a duel. But it, it lost a lot of its value now. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Mending. Card marking inside of a deck game. <laughs> I don't know that's usable. Oh. See, I, don't know I hate that. to be that guy. Just, just get the spell mending, man. It's fine. You could mend it. How about that? It's in a state where it's no longer usable or really worth the money that you had in it. But it is something that could still be repaired. Don't worry, I'll just minor illusion it at some point to make it look meant for this. That point. also could work if someone did that. Yes, that lines. But at this point, <gasps> like everyone in the shop well, just sees like you to... do that. Like, there's a collective well, glass from everybody right in I'm... the shop. Well, I'm not doing it right now. That'd yeah. be like a an idea. That's an idea for the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like you're currently doing it, Roger. Yeah. Um, I. Would like to cast minor illusion on the uh, what, what? What would you say is like the most valuable of the cards you have on display? You would probably need to investigate that. Yeah, to I was know about that. to say like, wait, maybe I investigate. You could ask him. You could ask him that question as well, rather than an investigation I'll say, check. I'll, I'll like to ask but that might make so... it a little more obvious what your next steps look like. You know oh, what I mean? Well. Just well, throwing here, that I'll at you. I'll try investigation first. Oof. What did I get? You have no idea. Yeah, you're like not sure. Control. You know he has valuable cards, but you couldn't say if one's more valuable than the other necessarily. I'd like to ask Severus uh, off to the side, a sidebar. Uh, which one of those cards is the rarest? I'm one? too angry to valuable. respond. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After no, my no. card was damaged. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to lean over the counter and I'm going to grab this guy by the collar and I'm going to demand that he compensates me for my card. You got an intimidation check that. 
like like assuming that this is all transactioning in the same moment. Ugh. Why would I need to do that? You did it to yourself. Yeah. You think you, you think you throw your weight around because you have rare cards? I seen rarer. <laughs> What, like does, he, do, does he hunt? Does he show off a Athena. rare card? I pull off. My, I pull out my platinum Athena graded card, <laughs> slap it on the table, and I, I, I tighten my grip. Are you I tight sure my grip. you want to slap it on the table? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. What is I mean, your is what, what is your intent with this? Are you trying to intimidate him or persuade yes. him? If you're trying to intimidate him, you got to do another intimidate. If you also if you roll wrong. a one, if you roll a one, you might destroy that card. I need you to really recognize what you're doing. No, he didn't roll a one. I don't Thank believe Christ it was real. It wasn't a one, but it wasn't good, man. You didn't convince him of shit. <laughs> that could be right, fake. Well, I would like. Wait, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like. Well, he has Athena in. Oh, the Olymp. That's what I'll do. So I would like to uh, cast Minor Illusion onto the um, the Mount Olympus card. To make it have like a mark that that's usually the case for reproduction cards, and a slight and a slight little dent in the corner next to it as well. It looks yeah. like an elven knockoff, or it looks like you know how JP cards aren't really worth the same as like US cards, like that type of thing going on. Yeah, so I would like but to. Like, would you know what that like would it. look like though? Do you know cards? Well, I mean, well? I just. Mm. Well, I've seen them around. Like I've been in this world uh, enough. To, to be fair, well, hold on. we said earlier from a card, so it that entire that means that I'm interested, that I am knowledgeable of the cards. Therefore, and I'm knowledgeable. To of, follow it up, uh, we have made it canon that the reason you knew dragon history is from a card. Okay, exactly, yeah. which would entice that I have them and have yeah, knowledge yeah, yeah. of the cards. This is why, like That's before, when we were talking about, about that, yeah, 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 yeah it lines. Yeah. That lines well. Okay, so. so you do know that, and you're able to cast the illusion. So behind him, that Mount Olympus card now looks like it is a reproduction and not an original. Um, how do you continue from there? So I would like to say, hey, by the way, um, I just want to say notice, just to be sure, because I just looked. I think your Mount Olympus card is a reproduction and slightly damaged impossible oh, would that be I, like, a deception like... check well, with I mean, advantage I, already... I would also say is like... it really that if i already changed it to look like that well, well, but you're also... lying to him verbally though like Casting visually he would see that is something hmm. people would notice unless you're hiding it that's also well, I mean, true. He's busy with Draga. He's busy with Sever. Yeah, so I mean, it I could mean, be like a just... sleight of hand with advantage or whatever. Yeah, do that because there's still people in the shop. Because there are and abilities literally... you can get where you can cast spells without doing it. Sleight of hand, stuff. advantage. So, sleight of hand twice, take the higher. Hold on one sec. Since, uh... uh it yeah, the, the question yeah. there is, like, how are you deceiving this man? So you're either sneaking the spell past um, him... It says that, like... Uh, that. Oh wait, hmm. hold on. Because I think I'm it's trying to... VS for that one. I'm trying right? to read the 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 spell because I'm not sure if it says anywhere where I need to do specific action. So yeah, for minor illusion, uh, it's got semantic components, which basically right. is hand movements and oh, materials, okay. which we I don't think Doc cares about. We're skip. Yeah, we're skipping M's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, S is the problem there. Yeah. S. Okay. I see. All right. There, well, there are well, abilities. Well, 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 how about this? How about me going up and my me pointing to it, like I'm saying, all that is me casting the spell. Questionable, because the idea behind spells is you do specific movements for that spell. Oh, like you okay. studied, or and you being a bard is, I don't know. Yeah. That kind of like <laughs> I would say. Like, so a, so let's line it. Offensive with that one. To let, end your let's line like, it. Bards your choice. Are musical magic. Yeah. Or normally, yeah. Or performance based. Yeah. So like, okay, I would say well, either we're doing again, a sleight of hand at advantage or deception at advantage. Either one, and then the logic is how your character would proceed from that. Let's try right, that well, for the sake of making this okay. make sense for. Rule of cool whatnots, right? 
All right. Hold on. Let's Either go. way, you're getting advantage yeah. on the roll because of the combo you're doing. So. Yeah. Right, that's well, your. That's the benefit you're gaining. Well, well how about deception? Uh, that I'm works. just saying, before we start casting, like, dominate person on people, yeah. I think no one to notice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Later on, that won't lie. But, like, yeah. so here, you got yourself well, a solid I roll. I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're able to deceive <laughs> him a alongside the minor illusion to convince him that that card is the reproduction that you just said. And now it's up to Doc on how that character is going to behave with that knowledge. But, no. But, how? What? I don't know, maybe Drake! Drake, it's a fake! <laughs> like, no, it can be a fake! It's like, we had a test and everything! Jake! So, now they're free. Now they're distracted by the fact that now, now that they now they take their they got the cards off display and they're like, looking them over now. Uh, um. So they they're looking it over in in their hand, yeah. Yeah, they have their their backs turned to you. Well, so, okay, so the only thing like that'll hurt. Hold on. Don't let yeah. them touch the card. By the way, <laughs> they are Just... definitely touching that card. Yeah. Physical physical interaction with an image made through minor illusion reveals it to be an illusion. All right. Well, I would like to. <laughs> this is why I'm trying away, to let you. I would like to make to, that. I would like to grab, like, try to scoop up all the cards. Off that are there and and like uh like try to signal Severus to do the same and try to get the heck out of there. Wait, wait, you're like, trying to mob rob, rob the place? <laughs> no, you're flash mob robbing at it. that point. Hold on, let's just hold on. You're flash mob robbing the place. Is that what you're saying? I don't, I don't even know what that is. I'm not, I don't know. I, I it, it, basically using multiple people to rob a store because they can't deal with all you at once. Anyway, no, um, that's not the idea. The flash idea mob is of that. Two. No, again, I'm only thinking of stealing what's on the counter there, the trading card, like the card packs that they have at the counter. So I those two turn Severus around like and go to investigate. Criminal mastermind. Right, because, they're, <laughs> because they're distracted with the other card and they're about to get rid of the minor illusion, I'll be like, okay, well. <laughs> there are other people in the store other than Jake and the owner, though. That's the thing that we were saying earlier. That's why the whole VS was that the somatic thing mattered. Can I do a check to see what if they're like on the other side of the store? Uh, I would say it's more you need to do a sleight of hand to even uh, try to do this with other people and like being quick. Do I get advantage with it? Doc's call. How does that work? I, I would mean, say I, that. I feel like this commotion's getting everyone's attention. So the yeah, 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 specifically yeah. to the guys with the card, not to us. No, because it's it's it's, it's from the store, like. You're in front of the cash like register. Everyone will be okay. looking in direction when that okay. guy yelled, Jake, it's a fake, right? <laughs> oh, like, no. oh, no. Yeah, but the nail catches your hand. <laughs> okay, I don't so, know this. <laughs> so you have... I, okay. So, so okay, can you... I have an idea? Can I have an idea of what happens? Yay, yeah, yeah, hold on. If you, if you can make a one make sense, roll it. 100%. Okay, I'll first... Well, I mean... It might not be a one level, but you can all. It's we'll we'll that. find out. So yeah, yeah. I try to grab it, but I fumble and I end up pushing them all over the counter on their side, making a ruckus and they notice me, while I'm like, like I'm visibly like hunched over the table, like I, like I was trying to do something. I land on that pretty well. I would say that if you tried to like run from the situation with you leaned over the counter, you're effectively prone. That would be a way to make a one make sense with that type of logic. So right now, if you wanted to try and run away from this situation, it's not happening, TLDR. Because I have an idea with this. If that's okay with the situation, I have an idea to follow up on this. It's up to Doc on that so, one. Okay, so they touch so they touch the card at this point and it's like, Sassy, no, it's not a reproduction. Oh, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden they have like crashing noise. They turn around yeah. and to see you like that, and the car, like back cards. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? All right, I would like to then try to <laughs> deceive them. <laughs> so why saying I'm sorry? I tripped and I pushed all the. I'm sorry. Oh. Disadvantage with the one. Yeah. Disadvantage with yeah, the one. So what's the disadvantage? What is that? Disadvantage. Roll two. Take the lower. All right. 
So roll deception twice and take the lower. Okay. 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 Yeah, so right. like fucking one again. Yeah, but. Yeah, like, <laughs> it looks like it's trying to rob the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. you oh, were getting well, close I, to I being got okay, so, <laughs> problem. I'm so, so sorry. I, apolo- I tripped. I, uh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. You damage the cards. What were you thinking? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Jake, pick those up. I got it, boss. And he's like reaching down, yeah. grabbing all the cards. <laughs> Can I try and help him grab some cards and then maybe uh, yeah. pocket a Here, couple like, of can them? I, can In I theory, help? that's I'd across like say, the counter I... from both of you. Yeah, it's like... Like so say, I like, wouldn't say either of you have any I'm control What if I offer to help because I'm the one that made the mess? No, it's fine. Uh, I, it's... I think Jake's already on it, yeah. yeah. It's Jake's job Jake's... to do this sort of thing. Hey, look, those other two cards are also <laughs> Yeah, no, man. And then the minor illusions <laughs> definitely facaded away as they grab that card. Yeah. So, like, they know, like, wait, this isn't, huh? And then they look at you, and they're just going to be like, wait, why did you think this was a fake? Well, I mean, it look, I, I said I wasn't sure. that I was going to ask you guys what. Well, I mean, why am I saying that as if, like, you're asking? <laughs> like, you're talking. Well, I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, uh, the guy's going to lean over and start explaining to you how you can tell which card's real. And I'll be like, oh, okay. And then I, that it, that increases too long my, of a conversation. In, my, that increases my wisdom. <laughs> yeah, too long, too long of a conversation about this. By the way, like that guy's just gonna be going at length. Yeah, and then at some point I say like, oh, look at the time, and like a minor illusion in my hand to watch. Hey, I got, I uh, I gotta go. The kids are the kids are waiting. <laughs> I gotta pick the kids uh, up for the pool. It. Oh shit. Severus, are you are you done here? Are you done here, man? I didn't even get anything. All I came here was I came here to damage my card. Hey, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 on. Let your losses. Let a your real losses. question. So, so Severus, you see him knock those cards over and all the kerfuffle. Is there anything you do? You're still distraught from your card getting ripped, of course. But uh, I was gonna try to help him pick up some cards and see if I could pocket something. But yeah, but they're on the other side oh, of the counter. Yeah, yeah. So without that, is there anything else you're trying to do? And no is a fine answer, by the way. I want to open some packs. So are you going to stay there, like, as, like, we now see Flint is, like, talking about leaving the store? Are you going to be like, oh, let me buy some packs, right? Mm. Don't pay. How much is a pack? How much is a pack? Take what you the want. owner it would be visibly annoyed with the two of you at this point, but he'll still make a sale. Like at the end of the day, he's a businessman. Uh, I'm gonna tell him I don't know that man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see. He just walked. He I just walked in with. Well, hold on. You did. One. You you also we did. We came in together and we were talking together. I was trying to persuade him with you. Uh, well, share the same I would hobbies, friendly customers. I mean, I would say that he doesn't actually know your character yet, so I wouldn't say it's necessary. Sarahly a deception? She's still well, I mean, He says that he doesn't She's, know Go me. get her! Go. Well, he doesn't Sorry, know you yet, name. right? He yeah. Knows he knows my name. He knows, he knows, of, he knows of you. He knows that you have a job with him in two days, right? But, like, it's not like he knows you well enough to be like, oh, this is someone I can vouch for or anything like that. He's just going to ignore you like, uh, I don't need to have this conversation. Huh. Uh, buying the packs would be a an option for that man. That man might charge you an arm and a leg where he oh, would have charged you an arm now. What did that break? Uh-oh. That's uh, weird. Oh, meanwhile, my Mac's not giving me notifications from this. What's this going on? Oh, it's all the PNG things just fucking broke. No, uh, I'll it. say I'll say it's uh two two gold a pack. Two gold a pack? Yeah. How many cards come in a pack, Doc? Five. What are we doing for that? Five uh guaranteed a regular rare, possibilities of other cards. Um we'll say on a what do you say on a D twenty, Doc? Like, if he rolls a d20 opening a pack, what gets him a rarer card and a legendary? Legendary, we'll call it, like, or platinums. We'll call those, um, 
It has to be at least a, at least a twenty, right? That's got to be the, the minimum on that. Um, rarer cards are over fifteen, let's say. One in four chance, maybe over sixteen, seventeen, if you want to make it higher. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out why this thing's not working. Oh yeah, Doc's trying to figure out technical things. I'm trying to figure out card math. Uh, ten percent. 10% would be a rarer card. So let's say if you roll 18, 19, 20, uh, 18, 19, but 20 is going to be that. So let's say 17, 18. His IT seven, skills are coming in handy. 17, 18, 19, you get a, we'll call it a rarer card. Like uh, the, while well, we were talking about the. Altar. Uh, I, I would call them legendary. Uh, regular rare, you're guaranteed, no matter what. Uh, so that's anything under a 17. And then uh, 20 would be the legendary, unspeakable, like, holy shit, I can't believe you got that card. And it would be a raw D20 roll. There's no influences from anything outside of it because this is gambling. And I don't think there's a stat for gambling in D&D. &D. Yes. I'm double-checking that conversation, actually, and, like, making sure that nothing lands with that. And I don't think anything lands with actual gambling other than sleight of hand, but that's not the same thing. This is pure RNGesus. So, uh, if you buy packs of cards, a 17, 18, 19 will get you a rarer card, and then the legendaries are 20s. Oh, no, there we go. I think I fixed it. Uh, Doc, did you hear me on that, or are you too busy trying uh, to yeah, figure out the fix? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll run it by you. So, I was saying uh, 17, 18, 19 is a rarer card, 20s are the legendaries, and then they're guaranteed a rare card in any pack, like we were talking so it'd be four commons and a rare up to that. God, yes. I can't believe we're going to be running fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! logic on this. <laughs> yes. I'll go All right. That. So, how many packs are you buying, if any, at two gold a pop? And at, for the sake of it, Flint, you can also buy packs if you wanted to buy no, packs. Uh... No. Well, it's, hold on. His deception succeeded. The guy doesn't think he was trying to steal from him. Now, the guy saw that the failure in the card was fucked up, but now he's explained to Flint what the look of an actual card is, and so Flint is, like, there's no more suspicion at this point. Okay. Now it's just you're being charged for product if you want to buy it, and there's not going to be anything of, like, trying to steal shit really at this point. Everyone's on edge. If you wanted to do stealing, that's going to be sleight of, hand, sleight of hand at disadvantage for fucking sure from now on in this store. So, yeah, no, uh, Flint's not buying anything. Severus, are you buying packs? Never pay for I'll it. buy oh. one booster box. Booster box? box. Oh. Do I gotta go look up how many is in a fucking MTG booster box? Are you about to make me do this? Yes, I think he is. There's, there's 36 on a Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so 36 Pokemon. No, we're using Yu-Gi-Oh! logic, so we have to use Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh god, one moment, I gotta look up a different Wait, fucking card the game now. what's Yu-Gi-Oh! logic we're using though? What? Uh, card pulling, and how how rare cards are in Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, I used to know how, this shit off my head. It it's pretty close to what I just said, yeah. Uh, looks like 24 packs in a Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. So it'd be 48 gold for 24 packs, and then you would roll, uh... 24 d20s i wish there was a better way to do that do we're not doing it tonight we're not doing box? it tonight you get the yeah, box like... tonight we'll figure out the since i'm not later. buying singles so instead of 48 would it be cheaper we'll make it a little uh cheaper, yes. it could be 45. That sounds reasonable. so 45 gold gets you because then you get three packs for half off all right, it could be lower, but we'll say 45 because of all the shenanigans going on in the store. They're not exactly looking to give y'all a deal right now. I will give him 45 gold for one booster box. And I want... Hmm. I don't know if there's, like, a way I could repair this card. Not I'd right now, him. man. No? I would say you could ask him if he can repair it. Yeah, that's what I was Mate. gonna ask. To see if yeah. He of any place or any remedy. Yeah, 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 Damaged yeah. cards. 
so genuinely you're asking him as a like service who can i go to to get this fixed after yes. what you saw i'm not looking for this yes all right so doc can land on how that guy would behave uh, with the situation and like what I he mean, would say you can get any magic user to use mending i guess but like uh. a real pro could tell the difference jake yeah, says from the yeah, back exactly <laughs> it's like a, a real a real connoisseur of, of sorts would would notice that it was magically touched up, so I so I, I think it's fucked. Don't worry, we'll mind her illusion. Jake Jake just leans over. Give him the packs for forty, man. He had a bad day. Uh, fine. It's gonna be out of your pay, Jake. What the fuck? And then Jake's just like, <laughs> he's like, ah, it's fine. I'm running he a business. Picking, he's still Jake. picking up the cards. Damn it, Jake. You Jake, when you, when you have your own business, today. you can t t give out deals willy nilly. Jake gives him the glare of just like, I swear to God, I'll murder you with one of these fucking cards. And he continues to I'll pick up cards. I'll kill you cards. with that Zeus, with that Benton. Uh, so, uh, 40 gold, I guess. I'll kill you with this totally legit Mount I Olympus never. card. We are not so opening cool. these cards tonight. All right. 24 gets sent to you. Drago, what I would say is when you got a time, roll 20 D20s. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, the other option is you could roll one D20 and we can treat it as an average. But that's a uh, rough math because then you're, I'm going to say this, you're guaranteed not to get a legendary if you do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll the separate ones on my own time. Roger. Yeah, but figure out cards and... A game system and Jesus. Yeah, thanks, man. I know I'm gonna be fucking helping I you with ask, that. Can continue what I was gonna want to do, or are we ending? Uh, we we'll continue. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. So, so one of after, after that fiasco. After that, I guess they come on, Severus. Let, 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 let's go. You can we'll pick out to your picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, I won't. Do you won't say that to him, Drago? Or are yes. you camping? I won't camping? fix your card. He doesn't know I have men. He doesn't know I don't have many. I guess I won't use. I won't fix your card then. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Are you about to decept another player? No, I'm just saying. I guess I won't. I, I guess I won't fix your card then. I'm saying that. But, but you could you fix it? it? Huh? Could you fix it? Probably I can like draw blood on it and call it living. <laughs> and huh? click here, heal Why wound, are you trying to damage my cards more? This is exactly <laughs> why I want to talk to you. If you see what I'm saying? It's a deception check, though, right? Like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can roll a deception check and then drag uh, it right. Can we roll for initiative? How about that? <laughs> Combat starts. <laughs> He's like, you're gonna fix this. Doc. I just figured out the card game. Oh god, what? I mean, Jelly gave an idea. That's also a good way of doing it, too. But if we want to introduce more combat in social circumstances, it could be its own combat scenarios. True. That would work. But the problem I have with that, and I will state this, that would be only the player playing the card game doing combat through those roles, and that could be a lot of time we waste. So I saw yeah, Jelly. That might be better for the flow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that could be better for the flow. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But for the moment, yeah, we'll land it with that. Uh, uh, you're basically looking at him as uh, you know, you're ready to head back to the castle. Well, after getting out of that fiasco, I noticed Jesse's shop again. Oh god! And I, uh, I All right, Art, 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 Art is currently in there pouring mayonnaise when you uh, you show up. He's at the end of the mayonnaise. I say, I say hey, Jesse. Art looks over and just goes mayonnaise, pointing at it. <laughs> Uh, um, Jesse's like, no, uh, you're paying me that mayonnaise. Oh, oh, yes, and then finishes pouring it into the bucket and then takes his potions and shit. Wow, you offer me an immediate, wow. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, not sure. Uh, uh, hi. Hmm. So, uh, what's, what's going on here, Jesse? <laughs> Jesse, Jesse has a bucket of mayonnaise <laughs> on the counter. He's like, yeah, I'm like, I noticed that, and I'm not saying, I'm like, oh, what the, what's going on here? A business transaction. <laughs> I see. He, he, dips um, his, he dips a finger into the, the mayonnaise, rolls a bit, and then puts it in his mouth, and does a, 
that popping noise. As bad as that is, at least it's not how Tarkov does mayonnaise. God. I'm just saying, uh, do I need to... I, I guess you'll be... I'll, I can wait for the transaction to be done. No, uh, I, 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 and then Art, the... Art has finished up his bit and then uh, grabs the potion and goes, Done now, all you. And then starts to... You know, uh, is she just kind of walks back a little, and he's just kind of like checking the book out that he bought, making sure every page is blank. They can use it as a journal, stuff like that. Okay. All right. What can so I, I help you with? How you doing, Jesse? How just you let doing? you know, I'm full. I don't need any more mayonnaise. I'm all filled up. <laughs> what? He's he's all filled Excuse up with mayonnaise. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, but asking Jesse, what? I don't need any more mayonnaise. Why not? <laughs> Two gallons of mayonnaise. You want some? Sure, Jesse. I'll take some. Okay. He throws a bucket in front of your face. <laughs> of mayonnaise. I would like to dip my head into it while also slurping some in okay. into my mouth. I like to dip my head into it. Art like, reading his like, book, oh. lifts his head up, seeing you do that, shuts the book, and leaves the store. <laughs> and you just hear, oh, 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 oh. Like, no, 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 oh, your head is in the mayonnaise when it's happening. Art's just leaving while your fucking eyes are covered in mayonnaise, bro. He's just not <laughs> gonna be there. What can I get oh. for you, other than mayonnaise? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. How much is he gonna charge him for the bucket dip in mayonnaise? Anyway... <laughs> He offered. He didn't say I had to pay. He, he did. Oh. Yeah, he didn't. So. What can I do um. for you? I want to ask, do you have anything um, besides your mystery potions? Do you sell anything else? He gestures to the whole fucking store. <laughs> With a whole bunch well, of last time ends. I was here, you like only anything had but mystery man. potions. That was his his little fair so, cart like type of thing. This is an actual storefront. Yeah. So how about you tell me? Because I'm clearly blind, as you can see. Oh, so describe what are you to me what for? you have. Yeah, boy, uh, you're going to the worst customer service, expecting them to explain something to you. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I sold him fucking mayonnaise. <laughs> um, I'd say, well, anything else? The only thing else that's magical besides your mystery. He gestures to the whole store. <laughs> What's so magical about that? Fucking the. I think I said before, but the store is is called Jesse's uh, Magic Emporium. Yeah, oh, like, I didn't know that's like Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> yeah, listen, I didn't know that that was not. We did not go over that the last time. Okay, it was early in the night. And... Yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, so, okay, so what? Jesse, uh, do you... What are you looking for? Oh, Jesse just goes. Uh, it's a magic emporium. It's, a magic it's all emporium. magical. Do you have a magic gun? What's a gun? I pull out my gun and like point it at him. This is what a gun is. Oh, like, like not knowing about the gun hand safety. cannon. Yeah, this this is an experimental thing, but it seems like it's not too too new. So maybe you have something. So you do know what this is. It's a hand cannon. Do you have anything like this? He taps his, like, taps his, like, shin, and, uh, he, uh, twirls around, <laughs> and, uh, nope! <laughs> <laughs> He does the whole performance to say no. Anything else? Um. Um. Do you have potions that you know what they do? Sure, we have all kinds of potions. 
Do you have lust potions? Lust potions? Yes. That's a, that's that's Jesse's voice. Jesse goes, "What?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. How exactly do they work? What are what are the requirements? How long does it last? <laughs> Ideally, orally in tank, but you know, you can put up the butthole if you really want to. Mm. Can lace my penis with this. So, how how long does it last? How long does Viagra last? <laughs> oh God! I mean, if you have to consult a doctor, it can be days. Um, one moment. Well, it lasts for three days. If an erection lasts for more than three hours, call more <laughs> ladies. Uh, I'll say no, three okay. hours. Uh, Viagra starts working within thirty minutes. But since it's a but since it's a potion, it'll act almost instantly. Magic. Um, so, for yeah. most people, it'll start within an hour. I'm trying to see how long it lasts to get you that, but yeah, three hours. Wait, we already hours. said three hours. Those are three hours. Hey, look, for, I, I was asked a question. I'll Google it between two and three hours. Listen, listen. It can last up to five. Okay. Look, you could have gotten a better result. I'm trying to help. We're going for three now. I feel like a majority of the time, it wouldn't be helpful. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I'm trying, man. I'm but, just trying to see what actually, the actual is. I think you need to do a check real quick. I, dude, there's a whole thing of, like, if you have an aggression lasting more than 24 hours. For all we know, he could have gone 12. I was trying to help so, out. How much is, um... Your lust potions, Jesse. Well, what do you have to trade? Um. I don't need mayonnaise, though. <laughs> Damn Not it! For that. <laughs> I can give you um a very lovingly night. A what now? I. You cut off. I can give you a very loving night, Jesse. You're offering sexual favors. As no, I give you're him not my type. I it could be I, a I persuasion a... check. I use the less potion on Jesse. No, you don't own that yet. I know, I know. Well, yeah, but no, uh, it could be a persuasion check. I think that's valid, even if it's Jesse's type. I mean, if he rolls a twenty, you roll a one, Doc. Types don't oh. matter. Is a TLDR there? I'll say I can trade you. If you I can trade you a loving knife for a few things, and I'll do a persuade. I, sh I will cast. Uh, excuse me, a one one spell, which I don't know the name of yet because I'm looking for it. Um. Uh, I will use honors the chorus and make like a, like more romantic music, play. Um. And I would like to persuade him. Yeah, it just has a V component. Okay. So that should work. So I will do it twice because I get it with advantage now. Yeah, your charisma, uh, your performance. It's only performance checks. Oh, performance? I'm reading through it. Until spell ends, oh, you I make think, performance I I checks missed, I thought advantage. I read charisma checks. Oh. It, it, it highlights charisma performance checks in it, from what I'm reading. Mm. Uh, charisma saving throw. You make charisma deception I checks against it. creature made friendly by this spell. So if the spell succeeded, you would get advantage on deception and persuasion. But the initial, it looks like you have to have. Uh, on a failure, the creature becomes friendly to you. So the creature makes a charisma saving throw versus your performance. So, what did you roll for your performance? Uh, I'm assuming your performance and persuasion modifier are the same. Let's Is see. that correct? No. Mm. Is it better or worse? It's worse. Uh, then what would it be rather than the plus four for a 19? Let's see. Oh, it would be an 18. Okay. So, Doc, you're rolling charisma saving against an 18 out of a bitch. Uh, sorry, man. 
<laughs> even I, I'll close. say this. Hold on. The answer is a tie still goes to the DM, so you still would have lost. Wouldn't matter either. Still, way. no. I mean, yeah, but it's still no. I I'm understand. Not saying bullshit. I'm saying bullshit that he <sighs> got like a little higher. Mm -hmm. So uh, okay. uh, your unearthly chorus uh, has not taken effect on this man. Give me the. Give me the. There is the sound. That dog. Yeah. What does he say? What does he say? He's like, huh? You hear that music? Yeah. I this is the it. music my ex-wife played all the time. I hate this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I hate this music. Oh. It cuts Fucking abruptly. romantic right? shit. And it abruptly heavy, stops. Heavy orc is where it's at. <laughs> heavy orc. Heavy <laughs> orc. I like it. Oh, Mike, why did you have to do that? Now I gotta make their heavy metal band in the orc camp. Oh, no. oh I'm so in. <laughs> And then if we ever go to the work camp, we got to go to their concert. Oh, we're already figuring that all out. Don't worry, folks. Anyway. Well. I say, anyway, um, do you have anything else to trade other than your body? <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that. Um, You're literally prostituting yourself to me. <laughs> okay, and? Just, I'm just saying. What's wrong with that? Life. Hey, I don't... Huh? There's no problem. I'm looking sure. for a good time. And I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you don't gotta diss me for it, though. Alright, um, I can trade you out money. How about your hat? No. I like your hat. No, it was made to me by a family member. And that makes it valuable. They... Yeah, to me. Which is why I'm not doing it. And they encouraged my sexual endeavors. As like good families should. Yes. Unlike you, you're not. <laughs> I, do you want anything? Do you have anything else? I I said money. Uh, he rolls his eyes. Fine, I'll take money. How much for the rest? That's a hard ten question. Gold. Uno momento. Well, okay. Oh, you're going you're going with ten gold. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, that's fair if Doc thinks that's valid. Okay, I would have really? gone and with like would a like love to potion. Him, like, I would take to percent. Like, really? No, how about eight? Twelve. Hmm. <laughs> you said twelve? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Um, persuasion. Eh, good roll. So, eight was the persuade. Damn. Yeah, Doc, yeah, yeah, man. You got it on the parts that matter. You ain't <laughs> getting the parts that don't, TLDR. I'll take it eight. All right. Huh. Laughing Hyena Studio sells uh, potions of lust for twelve dollars. God damn! How are we close? Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, I need to buy one. <laughs> Anywho, uh, send me that link later. Yeah. All right. So. Mm. <laughs> um. All right, and um, he sells his like uh, mystery potions for five, right? Yes. All right. Hold on. Minus ten. Plus two. I have 18. Alright, I would like to buy... An... Alright, Jesse. For eight gold, I'll give you... I'll get you... I'll get a, the Lust Potion. And I would like to also get three of your Mystery Potions. Once more. Okay, 15 Although, gold. Although, I don't know why I am doing this. As I drank it and I profusely sh had diarrhea and vomited for a good 30 minutes. <laughs> I should have saved some of the bucket. To trade with <laughs> he you, just honestly. giggles behind the counter at you. I say just... I should have kept it to trade with you, Jesse. And you trust this man's lust potion? Brave man. <laughs> just makes you right. impotent. Uh, TLDR, don't bottom on the lust potion. Next. 
What? I said don't bottom when you take a lust potion. Anyway. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm seven there. He gives you your potions, and he's like, "Shop's closed now." Pulls out like a pulls out a a, 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 a little closed side, puts on the counter, and then. Uh, I ring the bell you, once. Well, you, you notice that it is like 5 p.m. at the same moment, however. I uh, ring the bell once. And, and then it's like it. he also like ducks behind the counter again. And then... Again, I ring the bell once. Ding, ding! No one That's comes. twice. Oh, I, I ring it again. Ding! Five ding, more ding, times. Ding. ding, 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 ding! The store is not closing! Please exit the building. Oh. Jesse. <laughs> my beloved. Goodbye. And I leave. <laughs> the door magically locks behind you. I leave my I leave my magical telepathic number on the on the counter. With that roll earlier, he wipes it off the counter like what is this? <laughs> He's like, what is this shit? Yeah. <laughs> so, that was day two. Christ, okay. Uh, was that everybody on day two? Randy, was there anything you were doing? You did book. Yeah, Drago cool. did that. Yeah. Uh, Polykai, you chilled in your room as Summer. Did Summer do anything? Had a curiosity. No, summer, the summer impressed the king, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anything more he than that was more the question. Him, yeah, uh, he's, the he's just size. dealing with royalty, trying to... Himself he's doing him. a he's I doing say, a manly sword fight with the king. To uh, speed things along is two actions per day. Yeah, yeah, okay, makes sense. So, all right, so third day. All right. Uh, is this yeah. the the um, cart is prepped today, or will it be prepped tomorrow? And we have a full day. Out of curiosity, we have a full day. Roger. Runner, runner. Well, all right. Who wants to go first? Oh, I thought we were ending on this. No. no. We got one last one, one before we get the card. Then... Yeah. Yeah. So if there's any additional prep work you want to do with your character and what you need to do, I'm trying to think what the hell Art would do. I uh, read a book, got the potions. Uh, Art will go to go over to the library, the uh, local library, not the, uh, uh, the castle library. Um... And uh, he plans to spend the day in there um, talking to the librarian, trying to understand Common better. Or trying to find someone in the library to help him understand Common better. Okay. As East, as East versus West confused the shit out of him two nights ago. <laughs> you have a lovely conversation with the librarian who... I, I've now learned my directionals, east, south, and northwest. Got it? Yeah. Um, Where's my dice? Right. Also, she, also, she tries to explain the whole help you, help me, help you, help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help me, help you thing, where my brain was just like, help, uh, what, help, help? Like, that's basically how it translated in his head, where he's like, I don't fucking. And now he understands that means help me assist you, so work with somebody to make it easier for them to help and he's starting to understand that as like a teacher and a librarian i like that that lines uh, and at, after all said and done uh you know how you exchanged a card with the librarian roger yes yeah yeah uh she extends her card to you after that after your conversation so uh on uh so the card is a universal language one so i'm reading it and when i read it it reads in orcish so when i grab it from her she'll see that it actually translates out to orcish whether or not she knows orcish that's the language that i'm reading the card in and that visibly can be seen so uh looking at it in orcish he now is able to understand her position better do i have a character name for this person yet i hate to ask you but you just handed me their card Sabrina. otherwise i wouldn't Sabrina, fantastic. So Sabrina, the teenage witch over there, um, uh, it uh, now, uh, well, now it's Sabrina. Spell. I was gonna say Featherfall, but now it's Spellman now. <laughs> Sabrina Spellman, yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, so uh, of course, right? Yeah. So he he reads that and he's able to say it, and he goes, Sabrina, 
pretty name, and then we'll proceed to head back to the castle by the end of day, unless someone else is showing up to the local library, which we'll follow up with whoever else is doing what they do on their turns. Okay. Who's next? I'll go next, I guess, since I'm also doing the library stuff, but uh, I'm mainly, so today autumn, is out um and he's gonna go check out the castle's library mm -hmm. and just kind of browse around the books for anything to do with magic or anything magic related and just kind of gonna hopefully sip on some coffee while just reading those books if he finds any uh do you want to try and do an investigation to find those books or insight depending on your character's knowledge of a library um, I will do investigation. Oof. Mm. Uh, what you found of, some books. <laughs> what kind of books are you looking for? Just magic related, anything to do with like the weave or. You found al You found uh, al um, fuck. Alchemy books. No. Uh, build like building wise. Al uh, Architecture. Architecture. Yeah. Thank you. Architecture books. Yeah, that one. So you didn't find anything magical necessarily. You just found a lot of books yeah. on architecture and the history of the city, uh, the builders that came about and built the castle and the area. You are finding more like that? You're not seeing anything really yeah. magical in the book in the library. And There's a child section that you see, but that's about yeah. it. Outside of it. Well, if that's the case, then I will go into town to look around for actual libraries where someone could help me find stuff. Okay. okay, so you navigate out of the you navigate out and you go look for the local library. For the sake of speedy, we'll say yeah. that you ask a guard to find where you need to go. Your character seems smart enough to do so. Yeah. You find yourself at the local library where Art and the um, uh, librarian are having a little chit chat that isn't exactly going well. Art's broken English and her good ing or broken common. I guess start saying that broken common and the good common are kind of flowing back as he's trying to have a conversation. Uh, you, your character moves as forward. Gotcha. I, I'll walk up and I'll say, uh, good afternoon, Art. Uh, mind if I borrow the librarian for a quick second? Was that in common? It was in common, but you have never met this person before. <laughs> well, hold on. Does your character physically look different? Yeah. So physically Roger. Okay. changes every single day. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's the part I wasn't so, sure about. With like the... if you okay. see my character image at the bottom corner, that's what I look like today. Got it. That makes sense with like how you're switching it up. That makes okay. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why that image was changing. I'm like, all right, that lands. So, yeah. I, I'm trying to remember if I know because no. you were a guard as his character. So yeah. Art's gonna be a little taken back that you know his name. Oh, sorry, Art. Uh, I'm an Aladrin. I I shift forms. Uh, every day I can be a different season. I'm a seasonal elf. And Most then he'll of those words aren't saying. hitting, by the way. Yeah, and when yeah. I say that on your face, I'll <laughs> start speaking in Orcish. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'll Common try language. to relate that kind of vibe. We don't need to me. start creating words for this, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is where Art's going to just, as you translate it over in Orcish, or uh, Art goes, oh, okay. And he understands that you go through these changes, and it's physical as well as mental and emotional. Um, yeah. and then Art's gonna look at you and go, well, why, well, what brings you to the library? The, the King's Library has a lot of great books. Well, I couldn't Because he's anything. there for, like, a social call, right? Yeah. Well, I, I was trying to find some more magical-themed books, books on different mages of the realm or whatnot, and I really couldn't find any in the library in the castle. And, uh, Art will be like, ah, yeah, those were hard to find, uh, I'm pretty sure we can find you some, and then uh, he will be like, he'll point at Sabrina, now that knowing her name, and go, Sabrina here can definitely help you with that. And that's all said in Orcish. I don't know how much Sabrina understood. Yeah. Uh, she just, it's <laughs> she very awkward. This... She's like, just standing there, so like, uh... And she sees me point at her and go, Sabrina, in the middle of the sentence? Like... <laughs> yeah. She sees this little elf walk in and just all of a sudden after a few words of common start going, 
Oh god, my... Yeah, 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 and starts hearing me go into full orcation. It's like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? Uh, um, and then now, uh, leading it into you and Sabrina having yeah. a conversation. Nice to meet you, Sabrina. I was hoping you could help me find some books on magic, please. Uh, sure, what kind of magic? Like... Um, like... any kind of magic. Uh, notable magicians, uh, books on the study of magic itself. Okay. Uh, yeah. any books on blade singers, if you have them? I know they're kind of rare, but... And she, uh, she leaves for a second and she comes back with, like, like, three books. One in, like, the history of no magic, uh, another one in, like, history of magical figures. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And she just hands it off to you. Well, thank you. I will read these here and return them when I'm done. Ideally, that's what a library is. Yes, indeed. Have a nice day. And I'll go find a corner and start reading. Art, Art kind of hears the awkwardness in that conversation. It's just a little, like, stares at Sabrina, like, everything good? What, what was that about? The little part about the, the quip of, like, bringing the books back, whatnot. But no words, no English, no common. That's Just a library. bit of a like concerned library. look of like. Library and humor. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sweet, and that's how I'm spending my day. Uh, Art's gonna notice you studying magic, and he's gonna sit next to you studying his book on uh the, uh the the, it's basically yeah, the old yeah. book, yeah. and he's gonna look at that, and uh, alongside you, he's gonna see how much he can learn about it. Yeah, no, I'll, if I, whenever I notice something that I find interesting, I'll be like, wow, Art, did you realize that? Uh, so as you're doing that, Art gets too distracted to learn anything from the book, which is fine. But Art ends up having more of a conversation with you in Orcish because you speak a common tongue. Yeah. Then he actually reads the book this time. We'll call this a failed check, Doc. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I've got to make a check for how much I read out of mine. Uh, I would think that's fair. It's sixty forty though. So for my, the reason I'm doing history checks is because I'm reading something on old gods no one's ever read, and it's and me like, trying to like understand the language and decipher the book. Language that no one's seen before. Yeah. So like I'm deciphering shit, and I need to pass. I think we said five checks. I'm on three. So oh, like for gotcha, you, it's gotcha. it's more about like your comprehension of it. I don't know that that's a problem because you speak enough languages to com comprehend it, right? Yeah. So I don't know that you necessarily need to roll unless you wanted to roll to give yourself a chance at like learning something in advance. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So and the and for that it would be I don't know if history is the right answer. Just an investigation check to see if, like, I notice anything. Yeah, like, I think investigation lands better, or insight, yeah. yeah. Investigation's a solid check on that. Yeah. yeah. Medium of the average. So, oh, we'll call that the average. You learned what you would have learned from the book anyway. TLDR. Yeah. Sounds good. And I get to hang out with Art for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of, us, both of us have a little bit of, like, a, a chit-chat back and forth. In Orcish, uh, Art's going to uh, ask you where you learned Orcish, actually. That's a really important thing. He's going he's to look at you and go, So when did you pick up the Orcish tongue? I've not met anyone who knows my language. Okay, so Polykai kind of, for a quick second, looks a bit like upset at this question. And he'll eventually come back and say, uh, Well, I was actually raised in a temple for most of my life and uh a friend i had there um over the years he became the head of our church and sp he was orcish and speaking with him uh really taught me the language and it was important at our church uh the church of oh my gosh why can't i think of the name oh but i'm scrolling through my text with doc to find the name of shit for my area right now don't feel bad um, <laughs> I oh, just scroll back to like a story. month ago. Yeah. <laughs> Dionysus or something? Dionysus, yes, thank you. 
at the Temple of Dionysus, it is encouraged for us to learn as many languages as possible so we can communicate with all of the patrons and just provide a good time. And uh, Art, Art here in that will be will say, we must have a very good friend. That's the same in my village. My father taught me many of the languages that I know. Um, have you heard of Kibble Village, perchance? Kibble Village. And, and you I'm can gonna, just say no, by the yeah, way. I'm going to say that no. Yeah, 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 because... yeah, 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 yeah. No. Um, uh, Bergig never really talked about where he was from, but... No, is that where you're from? Uh, yes, uh, Kibble Village is our home. We are a very erudite people who have actually learned quite a lot. Um, we have one of the best orcish libraries you will ever see. Um, one day, we may end up being there. I'd love to introduce you to my father. He would find your company amusing, to say the least. Well, I look forward to it. Do you speak Dwarvish? I do speak Dwarvish. Fantastic. You'll actually be able to have a conversation with him. He knows yeah. no orcish. Interesting. <laughs> yes, I know all I know the dwarvish, elvish, and orcish. The three main ones that I or the two I were also know dwarvish. What? Yes. You just hear that out of nowhere. <laughs> huh? Like in the back. <laughs> <Whoop>. <laughs> Yeah. Just just someone else in the library trying to get into a conversation. Yeah, yeah, someone else is like, yo, I know Orcish. It's like, shh, 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 Come on, get it right. Dorvish, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm going to diminish my tiny through the lot. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, like, fair. you hear that guy and he fades into obscurity. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I'll say that it's kind of just uh, with us both trying to read our book. We're not really able to focus on the book because we're kind of talking to each yeah. other. Getting to know each other a little bit, but not too much, you know, guarded. We both don't really know each other well. Yeah. Um, no. But like, Everest doesn't know me. Autumn mm. is very, like, open and honest, and, like, he's much well, more... Welcome to art. <laughs> not at all, like, summer, like, of just... Oh, me? Of course I speak four <laughs> languages. Which one, are you, more Which one are you right now, by the way? I'm autumn or fall. That's the one I meant first, right? Yeah. So, okay. so far, well, only I... two have been revealed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? like, wait, doesn't it change every day? I'm like, what happened to the other two? So, yeah, who knows? Maybe one is only two seasons. away because that's part of their is it... character. So it's random if it'll come up? Who will come So. Out? Uh, if you're playing the game normally, it is not random, and most of Eladrins choose to just stay as one season their whole life. But I just I like the idea of not being able to control it. Just, is sorry a... about that. That doubt idea probably so leads again, to so your brain. Random. It's not like one, like it's not in an order of days. It's like random. Mm -hmm. like... So every morning I'm rolling a dice to see what I wake up as. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. You gotta love introducing wild yeah. magic concepts into any class. It's fun shit. Um, yeah, no. Well, this is an idea I've had for years, and doing a 1 to 20, I'm like, I'll finally be able to explore all the intricacies of what <laughs> this would do. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll say it's um, a very open and honest conversation. You're going to learn stuff. I'll actually send you a text doc of some information about uh, Arts, yeah. town, Arts Village. That way we don't spend a lot of time here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do the same for you as we discuss things. We're cool. Okay. Who's next? No, you need Randy. to speak in or stop speaking English. Randy, what <laughs> would you like to do? Oh, God. Yeah, that would be really entertaining on the video. Uh, <laughs> it would, exactly. Randy has decided again, that he, he likes the, the Franklin books more than the cooking books. So he's going to go back to the library and start reading the Franklin book again. Can you please roll a... Right. Well, if you can what? even figure out which ones are the Franklin books. Yeah, like... Invest <laughs> invest perception. Roll perception. Perception? Okay, well, then I'll... Also, uh, Jelly, I hope you enjoy the names I give some of the NPCs for my starting area, because I don't fucking know what to call them. Yeah, no, you're good. I had to change all my names from like. Oh shit! You found all the Franklin books. Oh shit! 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, all of them. Hold on, hold on. Where's my card? Where's my card? Where's my card? A net found a Franklin card. Like, it's like a bootleg. It's a parody, you know? Like they, uh, it's like the well, uh, the family-friendly version of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? That's like their kid parody account. So it's you're about, enjoying the Franklin of... books. Is your intent with reading to still understand how to read better? I just look at the pretty pictures. I think, I'm, yeah. I think Randy's just looking at the turtle. I mean, a net 20, do you want to do a little of both? Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, it's up good. to you. That's it could be good. that there's something else that happens. It's up to you what you want this character to turn into. Something about the turtle's clicks inside of him, and he's able to understand some of the words now. Okay, all right, all right. I think that Doc, yeah, that lines. He has he a fucking zero. He rolled a net. That Look. a turtle is not a bear. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's not a bear. And he knows oh. how to spell it correctly, except for one letter. That's okay. And you start and you start being able to read the basic words that you would see in those books where they're talking about each other and other people, where it's like contextual I language. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for him, for Randy to get to the books where it talks about how racism is wrong. <laughs> Actually, it's going you know straight what? over his head. You know, oh, are we I rolling was, that? Oh, I was going to say, you know what? The book you're reading right now is like... A, uh, it talks about, about cultural Ooh. differences. Ooh, how about this? Culture. This is this is a legit moment. You're learning more English, but your character is also learning more about other cultures and how they aren't True, as scary. They, hand, they do handle that stuff in like children's yeah. media. Yeah. Wow. So you're, so so the I'm culture. Franklin the turtle. I'm yeah, not yeah, racist. Well, well, you know, you you might still be racist. Oh yeah, but I know. You, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're starting to see that cultures and your culture aren't that different, like you start realizing that there's more commonalities than you ever saw before. Turtles farm potatoes, too? You just start to learn. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, the, book you picked up, the book you picked up is Franklin and the Fox farm potatoes together. Like, something like that, <laughs> where it's like, you see the two different groups coming together, and you can see the turtle and the fox troubles. working together, and you start seeing how, like, even though they come from completely different backgrounds... They can make immaculate potatoes on the ground. They can come up with an amazing harvest, and they can win the state fair and get the blue ribbon. And the number Holy of poisonous shit. potatoes is still. You rolled a twenty, bro. Yeah. We could have made you not racist with this. We're not going that far. We're no, just no, making no, your character understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're making your character, character understand the the cultural differences that you see. It just see. gives him a more appreciation of the fact that he's racist. I don't know that we're going that far uh, either. Right? That'd be a, uh, hold on, uh, that's a nat one roll. Let's be genuine on that. <laughs> it makes him think that he's in the right even more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He starts to I read thought, correct. He Randy starts to read to okay, to progress, but gets worse. Though. Well, he's trying to progress in his education, and this is kind of like side effects, right? <laughs> so mostly you've learned how to read better, but you've also seen how from the images and the visuals. caused by not knowing how to read <laughs> Uh, talk to the South. Anyway! Um... Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and, and, um, on your, on your way to the library, uh, you find a pack of cards on the ground. Oh, shit. A pack? You found a full pack? It's all gonna have all like those like the energy water like the Pokemon cards like That's that. Okay. It's gonna have all okay. only those. <laughs> yeah. Playing cards. But, yeah. It, it's just playing cards. It's just a pack of cards. Oh, okay, okay. sure. Right I'm okay with cards. it. It's fine. The frog. I'll give you a pack of cards. You know, Randy's happy. You, Randy's you, happy. Could, you could still roll to see what those pack opens if you were to open it now, or you can hold on to the pack to give it to someone else if your character doesn't mm. give a shit about the cards. So uh, they, are, they, they, they have a trade value. They'll not give it to someone. He'll use right. it as a toothpick. So roll a d20, see what you roll on opening the pack for the sake of He's opening. He's gonna open a platinum like Zeus card. <laughs> that's, like, that's better oh than Dret than better than. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's so that's go. a legendary card. Um, <laughs> he opens a legendary Zeus card. Doc, your call, I don't, uh, I, look, man, I'm not ready for people to roll this many 20s. Y you can I'm, figure it out. I'm, uh, I'm it's all 20s either. and 1s. find another pack that's of all, cards inside the pack It's of cards. crazy. All the rolls tonight are only 1s and 20s. 
I, well, except for me and Polykai going to fucking read. Right, you know but yeah. Y your first card is a platinum card. Uh, a platinum. And the reason a why I was saying this. Platinum Aphrodite card. Ooh, that sounds good. Go for the lust. I can add that with my lust potion. Okay. Add a plus two effect. Uh, you duration. also get. Uh, so it's five cards in the pack, so you get Help! that, three commons, and a rare card. How? Uh, the... Wait a second. Mm. I something... thought he rolled for every single one. Uh, it's, uh, something, something seems familiar about the card, like, the image on the card. Okay. To you, but... Can I get a readout of which cards I got again? My this is very important. Uh, right now it's a Platinum Aphrodite card. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Platinum Aphrodite is the only card in the list that matters if you care about cards. Yeah. The rare is a generic rare, like that mount that the other guy had, where it was like, eh, it's not really worth that much. It's something that, like, okay, cool, it's a rare card, next. And then the other three are just commons that you could find anywhere. Hell, two yeah, of them yeah. could be a duplicate for all matters. Yeah, yeah. But for the okay. sake of value, and until me and Doc actually figure out a card system, system. they don't matter. Okay, I can I roll to see if Randy would know fact? how much it's worth? Okay. I, um... I don't know if Randy would know. One yeah, I doubt it, but gold. why not? You know, we're on a streak. Okay. Yeah. What would be that int? Sure. Flat yeah. int? Or wisdom? Int? For intelligence, I guess. Yeah. So in uh, minus or plus your modifier, I think minus your character, from my understanding. Uh, da, 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 da. It would be funny again though, like if it was a Zeus card and like he just pulls it out in front of Severus and uses it as like a toothpick. You know it's shiny. You know it's probably valuable. You couldn't tell someone how much it's worth. Yeah. Okay. Sadly. As long as Randy try, doesn't think try, it's though. not worth it. Try. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. You know it's. You know that it is a rare fucking card. 100%. As you long as don't he's not using know it as toilet paper. You I'm don't okay know the value association. Don't to. use yeah. it as a toothpick. For and, all the potatoes. And you also get I don't think Randy has any teeth. You get a familiar feeling from the card, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think Randy that, has the... any teeth. Okay. Uh, the card, yeah, yeah, gives you a familiar feeling. Like something you've seen before or recognize. Okay. Okay. Mother? So could no, be? No, um... Uh, we're not sure. He rolled an 11. God, I hope not. It, it could Is be a bunch of things. Like That'd be a fucking surprise. Aphrodite's my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Never know how the campaign will go, gents. Never know. Okay, so, uh... Is that the... Only thing you want uh, to next... Do? I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that it, or... Uh, I feel like... Uh, I'll just I'll take some of the Franklin books back to the the room, okay. to my room. Yeah, and I'll start reading them, over and over. You start looking for the books that happen to do with farming because you now can read things, and so you're starting to be like, okay, which of these are about crops, goods, farming, Potatoes. trading? I, I know yeah. what those are. Yeah, 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 exactly. You're lining up those books. You're picking those out of the list now. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, Severus and, uh, character names forgetting. I would say Ethan. The layer. I, 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 I see the layer. I'm trying to remember the character's Flint. first name. Flint. The layer. I go by the layer. It's a cultural offense to call me Flint. With I, hold on, hold on, hold on. This isn't my character uh, shit, my calling bad. you on. Flint. This is me as a human being just trying to remember this your character. This is me name. as a human being taking cultural offense. to. I'm going to keep calling you Flint then and I'll make, uh, no. <laughs> Come on. No, oh, I got stuck in this game. All right, so uh, uh, Flint and Severus, both of you are up. Uh, what are you doing for today? Whichever one wants to go first. Uh, yeah, a side note. Looked, uh, well, you mean you don't have to do anything. Some place to repair my car. That works. I mean, if, like, if, does anyone on the team have mending? Well, he's saying looking for a place, oh, so is there a shop that would do it, Doc? 
you know what? The card, the card game, it's a is a big a big deal in this country. So yeah, we'll, we'll say like there's there's a they have there's like, a death they, gauntlet. There's card they have like. Oh, you show up at a shop that says card repair, and it's just a sign over Jesse's potions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. <laughs> card repair over top of Jesse's magical emporium. We also repair, and it starts listing like three thousand other things. It's sort of like uh, like a computer repair store. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Hmm. So is that where I wind up at? Well, that's the store that that is yeah. a store that says it does card repair. You look at the sign, you do see how it says Jesse's Magic Emporium, and that has been covered over with card repair instead of Magic Emporium. Your choice if your character walks in there and tries to get shit repaired. I guess I'll walk in there. Uh, do you repair cards, my good sir? Is Jesse there? Is there a bell dock? How you rocking that? I mean, the bell says ring for service. Ding, ding, ding. Uh... <laughs> that was the sound of ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> uh, Jesse so appears out of a hole in the ceiling. What can I do for you? <laughs> yeah, upside down, looking at you. <laughs> Like a bat. my car and I slam my car down on the table. He's like, <gasps> what did you do to that? You poor baby. He takes the car. Pulls himself and... down from the ceiling, like flips down, looking at it and like immediately oh, cares cradles, attention. Crails it like a baby. Like, what mm -hmm. did you, what did he do to you? It was the layer's fault. <laughs> He has no idea who that is. <laughs> if you ever run into him, remember that name. The liar sounds like a complete asshole. <laughs> he is. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> sounds like the kind of guy who sells his body. <laughs> I met a guy with that one. Yeah. I can sure I'd... fix it. I'd be careful if you ever run into him. I'd be... Think twice before doing business with him. I give him a little wink. Ooh, some nice friendly advice. Uh, For free. That's always... <laughs> no, no, okay. He, uh... Hey, he's like nodding, nodding, nodding while he's pouring some sort of substance on top of the card. I, I, hold on, hold on. May, I, may I pause everything? For the sake of it, what are you doing, the lair? Are you going to do anything that would interact with this shop in this situation? Probably not, because I already okay. went there. Yeah, the yeah, only yeah, thing yeah. that I was planning to do is maybe go through the I don't know, walk through the town. Okay, I wanted to check with you before we continued that convo. So if you were gonna like show up because of some reason or another that this you know what I mean? So your character would gain or not gain. So for the sake of this, your character has no knowledge of this conversation. Alright, continue. He sneezes. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you know someone's talking about you somewhere, sneeze type shit. <laughs> uh, so, uh... I'm like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> so Jesse's, like, nodding while he pours out, like, an unmarked bottle and starts pouring liquid, unknown liquid on top of card. It's mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, then he takes out a hammer... Uh, smashes it on top of the card, and then pulls out a matchbook, lights a uh, match, and then sets the card on fire. And then, I'm just waiting for it. Does Sirius have any reaction to like any of this is happening, or are you just letting this happen? Yeah, are you trust in the process, or are you like, oh fuck, no, stop that, like? I'll trust the guy. Okay. Uh, so after the flames die down, uh, he picks up the the card, blows on it, 
and then it, it looks it looks like it's brand new, like literally like out of the packaging. Oh man, I was hoping you were gonna say it looks the exact same as when you brought it in, but that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, or, I'm not a complete. Hey, it dick. looks like a pile of burnt ashes. And, <laughs> and, Jesse, and, and Jesse appreciates cards. Yeah, I'll I'll dap my man Jesse up. Bro. He, he's appreciate a, it, man. Jesse is uh, is a uh, collector himself. That, or a connoisseur. Con he's a yeah, connoisseur himself. And he's All very right, to, into the tournament scene. To what <laughs> do I owe the pleasure? Uh, you know it's on the house. For I just, I couldn't I couldn't stand seeing the beautiful card ruined. What else do you sell here? Is there any anything I can do to uh He's like he's getting real tired of having to explain well, the sign, the sign flips over, like the sign it's above the him sign that says card like, repair flips, read? and it like, flips over to say Magic Emporium now. Yeah, the the sign that says uh, card repair uh, magically turns back into Magic Emporium. <laughs> and you see all these shells from the wall that had like, you know, nothing on them now flip out with like potions, they magical cards, items, crazy like, shit. Crappy cards. A, co a couple cards, nothing of two value, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're really into... No. <laughs> you say if you're really into cards. I am uh, into cards. Oh, God. All right. I have this here deck of many things. Oh. oh. It, oh no. God, it no. Doc, are you no. doing that? <laughs> no. No. I'm interested. Oh, no buddy, way. we're about to have a rough fucking session next session. Okay, all right. I was not ready for Doc to bring this out. I had to talk to Doc about bag of holding. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, a deck of many things. A very obviously magical deck that has nothing to do with these god cards, by the way. Gets placed in front of you. Yeah, no, I've, I've <laughs> played a game where we got one of these. I've done it too, and it's uh. Goodbye. Uh, oh God. Goodbye, balance. Um. Gonna kill our whole party. Yeah, possibility. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Well, I don't want to spoil any of it. Yeah, so we're not gonna get saying. into that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So a deck, a deck gets put in front of you that is obviously magical, like incredibly powerful. You're a character that would probably know that, seeing as you have ties to your god and whatnot. Um. Is and. Artifact or legendary. I think it's legendary. Um, I, I I double check, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and it is something that in front of you, it, you can tell that it has no relation to the cards that you've been collecting, right? But you can tell you can sense magic within it. I mean, they're not they're not the card game, but I used to play this when I was a kid. It's a fun time. It's how I got this business. I pulled the card, oh and now gosh. I own the shop! Oh, how how, how much like, are you selling he them that, for? He says that angrily. <laughs> yeah, he's upset because he's tied to the shop. Oh, the deck of many things. If Doc wants to modify it, it'll fuck you right up. Uh, <laughs> I, I looked up I'm the recommended might, price might, for it. I might have to look, it's stupid. I might have to modify it a bit. It could, be, it, be, it could be a deck that's dead. already been drawn from. That's also true, by the way, Doc. And so, I mean, it already has. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a used deck. As it used. is. A... Doc, you're not planning for this to be up to a level 20 campaign, are you? Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> how? And maybe, like, how? Yeah. I love you, man. This is going to be really interesting. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all going to get sent to a fucking other dimension. Maybe I should have gone to the cards. Maybe I should have gone <laughs> to the shop today. <laughs> this is why I had to check. I had to check before anything happened because you never fucking know where things are gonna land. Uh, I'm trying to think of money. Uh, what are you? What are we seeing for deck of many things? Let's see. So, normally, the game recommends fifty thousand gold. That seems about right. Ten thousand gold. 
ten thousand gold. That's super duper rare. Uh, Plus, you could get your own shop like this. And then secretly, he's saying, "Like, please, like, it's it's not. If he doesn't get his own shop. He takes over his shop." Oh, please, yeah, yeah, be free. yeah, yeah, this is like one of those moments where the, like, the monkey's fingers or the genie in the bottle that gives you exactly what you asked for shit, like, but at the same time, without your character necessarily knowing that knowledge, uh, you it's also not... have cards that are rare to trade him, the crown of the king, so you have goods that could be used to make that a trade. So keep that in mind, even though 10,000 gold was the quoted price. Or something very personal to you. Mm. I'll you give up my snake. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say the snake actually would land as much as that's fucked, but it does yeah, land. Yeah, but that is the most personal thing, because the other yeah. thing is really personal. They're just things that you find value. Those could be valuable Your enough, though, right? Like the crown of a king like, whatnot. It's like giving you a look. What if, hear me out, I offer you a trade for your deck of cards, I will give you my life. <laughs> You yeah, could also, I will already. give you. You this. could also ask to buy like a like buy one draw from the deck. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I mean, Doc's call. Cool. I mean, I that's a hell of an option because that could be something that we all dip into as a well going to the store. We could, yeah. So like, we all have a chance to use it. That's a little more balanced almost in a section, right, Doc? Because then rather than one player just pulling from the deck of many things, it could be a cheaper thing of, like, a hundred to pull. Or you can just... Yeah, let's we do that. Too. Or you buy it outright for 10k. So you could choose to pull a card for a hundred, pay it, trade it, however you want to get to that amount, or you can buy it outright for 10k. I will say, note, the deck of many things has permanent effects that can change your character. It can delete your character. I want you to understand that. I need to get that. my money from previous campaign. I need to find Bartholomew. Uh, it can send you to other dimensions. There's a lot of shit this deck can do. So, I note, I and this is, this is meta-knowledge. This is meta-knowledge, but I want everyone to understand how serious this is. You may have to talk to Doc and genuinely remake a new character if you pull the wrong card. I want that to be well known for players with the deck of many things. That is meta breaking, but I'd rather you know it than pull something and be pissed. So nah, let's I'll do let's do that. Is. You could pull something for a hundred, or you can buy the deck outright for ten k. Because when I did it, it destroyed my character in that campaign, and it's destroyed mine before. How? Oh, it, it has it, it is a it is it is it is a risky fucking gamble. I'm oh. trying to make that known. Your character does not know that. So this is for the players to understand if we are putting this in this game with this, it can have serious and drastic effects that end your character that could end the campaign even. It is a, yeah. like it is a genuinely strong artifact. That's why I'm shocked. Me and Jelly are talking in DMs right now. Like this is one of those things the two of us are going, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, I, I drew one of the best cards, and the DM still used it to mess me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's ways, of, there's, and there's ways. Yeah. It's a genie. It's a genie. Genies grant your wish as said. You got to oh, understand what, it, uh, no, it, yeah, it's the concept. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's the concept of that. So it so means it's not like something happens. You have to ask it's, for something. Well, no, it's no, so he's you saying pull it's the a card genie, and, like, just because it's telling you something, it could take it in a... The DM could rule it in a different way and just... I don't know. Right. So, like, it could be something of, like... I, uh, the card could say something like, become the richest man in the world. And all it does is make everyone have no money. And you have a gold. That is what <laughs> I mean when I say genie. 
So this is something to keep in mind with this as an effect. If we're all cool with it, I like this idea. I think this is a great addition to this vendor that me and Doc built fucking five, ten years ago almost. Me as a player? What? No. Me as a character? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Well, yeah, fine. fine I, I just, I, this is it. almost the level of something where I want to confirm with players we're okay with that existing in the game. Maybe for a little bit, you know, like, like again, like it's a used deck, so there's like only so many. There's things. cards that are already gone, and that's the concept. So Doc can skew the deck in a better way or a worse way and make it better for us, Maybe for sure. A I think it auto refills, Jelly. Don't look into it. Anyway. <laughs> no, I was trying. I think I, I heard a rule that once you draw from it, you can't draw from it again. Ooh, I love because that rule. The actual rules for the deck is when you go to draw, you have to state how many cards you're gonna draw, and right. then you have to draw that many. That many. And if you right. don't, they just all trigger at once. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, and so I don't know if you can then go back to the deck and be like. I'm drawing two more. Another two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how that lands, actually. So for the moment, we'll say it's 100 per pull. You can pull as many as you want in one go. We'll stop there, and we'll figure oh. out the rest of the effects later. Drago, uh, Severus has been informed of the deck of many things, and that he can buy the deck, or he can pull cards from it. 100 per card. What are you doing? What's Severus doing? Not you. What's Severus doing? Uh. Can I offer a trade a deck of cards for a deck of cards? <laughs> so you want to trade no, your no. deck of the rare oh cards? Oh my gosh. Uh, Drago's going to go into I'll a trade tournament my booster and be like, box. would I'll you like to my cut sealed, my deck? My oh, booster, oh box. booster box. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on. The booster yeah, box was only guy. worth 40 GP. But does he so, know that? Oh, well, this man's a yes. shop vendor and well aware of the cards. He knows it's worth 40 GP. What you have is worth half a pull. We'll call it that. Because it's 48 was the actual math, right? So we'll call that, that's 50, 50 gold. That's half the way. Because he's a collector. He's somebody, he's a connoisseur. He helped repair your card. He did it even for free, by the way, for you. Remember that? So, like, eh, he knows his values of these things. Now, your other platinum cards you have that isn't damaged, because I think you got one before, right? Okay, that could be... Athena. Yeah, that could be a value. So, something to I think, think from now on, I don't think I want to mess with it, to be honest. From now on, we're just going to have one of, like, something like... like well, hold on. Just, card in uh, it let, me, let me just say this. Without the knowledge I gave you, if Severus was shown a magical deck that he is allowed to pull a card from, Yes. For a hundred GP, so for a random, Jesse, for something, would he do it? Jesse also He'd probably try and steal it, or deceive it, or something. Jesse also oh, well, pulls out like a, uh, a a a a thick packet with his contract on it. <laughs> sits it down. He's like, you also you'll, you'll also have to. You'll sign need to this. sign this. Yeah. <laughs> I need that payment up front. <laughs> and, uh, I just yeah, realized he didn't front. have me sign the, the contract this time when I bought the potions. So potions aren't nearly as bad. I I I built those potions. They're not even close to the deck of many things. They're like <laughs> the mini version of it. I'm not even joking. I know, but I'm also saying it again. Like he made me sign a contract the first time, but he didn't make yeah. me sign a contract the second time. Well, you already signed the first one. He's got you well, on maybe file. It's like it's like that, a maybe office. it was only for those. Nah, it's like a doc office. He got oh, you in legal writing. <laughs> Um, like maybe so, for those five so potions, you know? Severus would try to swipe it, is what you're saying. To do something. Slide a hand? It, yeah. So, are you going to try to slide a hand it as your character? Or are you going to realize that this guy was kind to you, uh, buy a card, try to or walk away? I him with the uh, other thing, but if he already knows the value, I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, if a shopkeeper is offering this, he knows how much it's worth. He's yeah. not letting it on the site. Can I ask he, him you what would else you... he has for sale? Of course, of course. So he's going to look at you and basically go, well, there's all these other... Uh, uh, Ethan's starting to even get the voice down. 10 out of 10. And then, uh, like, he shows... He, even, he, he points out the, like, budget area where it's, like, the $5 bin of DVDs and it's just random potions. Like, random items in there. Yeah, yeah. And, like, it's the random... And then some randomized potions that you see keep changing color and viscosity. As you look at Don't them. Don't just stick your hand in the bin, though. There's a bunch of used needles in there. I, I honestly, Eve, you can start RPing this character with how you're doing it. I like it. 
Like you might be the new Jesse RP. Can I, stick I like my it. Hand in the, the bin? <laughs> you have to you have to roll to roll, see if you roll hit a, a D twenty. If you hit a needle or not. <laughs> no, just roll D twenty. See if you hit if you get stung by any needles. <laughs> I would say maybe like you grazed one. But you it, thankfully uh, like you grazed like the like the syringe of it, but you, you didn't you didn't get out... the middle. You pull out a book. A book. A book. In, in the pile of potions. I, I said random objects. I know, I know, I'm joking. So, you, you pull out a book that says the, um, just says Athena on it. Mm. Athena. That, that isn't my fan fiction one, is it? I'd hope not. Oh, that's, uh... That's, uh, the true history of Athena. True history, huh? How, how much is this going for? Points uh, at the pin that says 5GP. What's <laughs> around, 5GP or... Anything really you want to trade? I'll pull out my, uh... My Athena complete history book and ask and like compare them and ask them if this is the same copy. Okay, so the book you got from before is like the what like watered down. Mm. It's like it's like the Disney the, version, basically. And but like the book you found is like the on a is. It's Disney versus uh, the Brothers Grimm, basically. Okay, I'll I'll give him five gold pieces for the book, and I'll buy some some of those colorful potions. Also, ah, random potions. How many are you buying? Potion? How much are they? Five. Five, five, same price. They're in the same bin. They're just like you reached through them and got the. Let's yeah. see. He also he pulls out a a packet that's slightly less dense than the one for the deck of many things, but it still says contract on top of it. <laughs> just need to hey. sign. You just need to sign this before purchasing. You don't need to sign for the book though. Just the other parts. <laughs> Five gold pieces a piece. I'll buy eight potions. That's <laughs> forty gold. <laughs> the randomized potions. Oh, yo. You get, oh then, so we almost have the same. So amount I'll give you now. forty-five gold total for eight potions and one true book of Athena. Okay. It All turns right. out that it just says he uh, he, he <laughs> bites he bites the gold. He's like, yep, that's real. And throw, throws the bag of gold behind him. You hear a loud At, crash. As he's doing that, the deck of lovely. the deck the deck of many things starts to pulse in front of you. I was Robin, gonna say, I was gonna say it just fucking vanishes altogether. All right, hold on. He will in a moment. I was thinking, give him the give him that last little taunt of like, you sure you don't want to buy me, bud? Like the deck is almost looking at you like, you sure like, you, you don't want to pick a card? I would say like. A card looks like it's slipping out slightly, mm -hmm. like it, it's asking to be pulled. Or and we'll say, how about this? It's as Jesse has turned his back to put away the money that that card's looking at you. Do you try to <laughs> sleight of hand draw the card? Sleight of hand draw the card. Turns out you profusely vomit and shit for the next thirty minutes. Bud, that's a light side effect. I know, but that would still be funny. It's like a f one of them fortune cookies or something. I'm about to switch <laughs> bodies with somebody. If I it, but... We'll He's find about out. To switch bodies with the layer and being like, no. But you, but, but you see this taunt from the deck. Like, as an entity, it is trying to draw you to draw from it. Roll resistance or give into it? No, it's up to him. Yeah, this, this is his is, character this is and that his motif. Thing or it's like the meta thing, because y'all just keep talking bad about it. So I don't know if it's like a 90%. 
Well, not bad, uh, but it's dang, warnings, I don't, I don't but, like, know anything. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. It's pretty that, balanced, that, but the things that can happen can be game altering, which is the warning. Yeah, it's, it's not like pretty it's all, balanced. Same thing with the potions. How I was being warned. It's like things yeah. can happen. I mean, like good things can happen. There are good effects, but I mean, it's just things can happen. I, the main thing is we're warning you because it could just end the character, and that's a huge thing for the game. If right. you wanted to experience this character and go on, but in the game sense, it's if your character would be willing to take that kind of risk. Correct. This is more your character's action than yours in a D&D sense. Yeah. It's <laughs> would would your character would your character be a resist? Man. Come on, be like a man. okay, if I were to give your character the option of winning the lottery, but you could die, would he take the chance at running that gamble? If he would, pick a card. I kind of want to grab a card. <laughs> then grab a card. But now here's the thing: Are you paying him or are you slide handing it? This next question that we're coming up to. I mean, I kind of like this guy, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. You also do have to declare how many you're drawing before you draw. Correct. You have to declare how many cards. So is that how it works? Confirmed. If I draw from it now, I can't ever draw from it again. No, I still haven't found that rule. We're gonna go with for the sake of this. How about this? Hold on, hold on. For the sake of the vendor owning it, you can come back and pull from the vendor again. But if you pull from it today, you can't pull from it again today. Fair. That's fair. And, in, and now we're going to take a look at how it balances, and it might be that this is the only time you get to pull for the next three months of us playing. And that's fair, because the effect that this thing can have can be drastic. You can, I'll give you a slight spoiler, you can gain a level. Oh. Yeah, ahead of the rest of the fucking party. There's shit like that in there, well, so. Uh, yeah. Also but, gain one million gold. So, it, it, like, uh, my point I, there would be we're not trying to break the game using this thing if the vendor owns it. If we put it in a player's hands, we will redefine what the rules fucking look like as needed. Because a player's hands is very different than a vendor we're going to have to see every so often during these sessions, right? My gosh, there's an 80-page guidebook. <laughs> it's fucking insane. <laughs> I've read it before. It's not worth reading, Jelly. Don't do it. We might as well house rule it. Just do control, just control F it if you really want. So, uh, are you going to pay him to pull a card? He's he's looking away from you, he's putting away the cash. Or are you going to slight hand it, or are you going to wait till he turns back and go, you know what, I will buy it. Because at this point, you've kind of said your character's pulling a card. Take your time, take your time. It's a fairly big choice. Yeah. Uh, and, and actually, <laughs> we can pause you right now if you want. And then go over and see what Flint is doing in the meantime. Because Flint still has a turn to go. Sure, you Does anyone can else have a turn to, to go? You go? No, you're the, your last. you're the last one rock and rolling on day three. So what would Flint be doing today? I'm not we'll pause sure, the really. scene. Uh, you said you weren't going to go to the store. Are you going to go check out the library? Are you going to go talk to the bar keeps? Are you going to go just try to get laid by a local... Um, I think I'll. Are you gonna try to talk to the king? Try to lay with someone. Roger. Let's see. Like, see if I can find someone that's worth my time. Would that be performance or like? I think performance is fair for that. Okay. Roll a performance. It either be performance or persuasion, depending how he's trying to do it. Uh, finding someone would be perception. Um, so, like, per try and do a perception roll to see, like, what you see at the bar and see if anyone takes your fancy. Actually, please hold on. Give me 20, a quick please second. Please because 20, I... please add 20, please add 20. <laughs> <laughs> hold on one sec. So I'm just rolling. Uh, so what am I rolling again? Let's do perception. For looking for... You're looking for somebody that you would be interested in that you think is a good target to take home. A good target, yes. A, a good. A good I, I word mean, too. look, man. I don't know how else to explain it. Like Victim is another t word too. Victim's a bit harsh. I'm trying not to okay, use that. Yeah, all right. Let's... Especially for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. Hold on. Please let out me of 20, get. Please out of 20. Please, 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 please out of 20. It's gonna be a 20. I kind of want it to be a 20 now, just for comedy, perception. Yeah. 
Fucker's up. Oh. All right. So you oh, look around man. and you see a bunch of couples paired up. Uh, you see a couple people on their own, but they're not very attractive. They're not someone you're necessarily interested in. There is the option of going after them, but you're it's a bit I of a butterface. I would like to ins like inspect some of the couples. Uh, all of them look like they're in long-lasting monogamous relationships. You rolled a six, man. <laughs> Can I try persuasion? Because that's just like looking, you know. Maybe I'm just like again, I'm bad at like percep perceiving. Let's say, let's say, if you wanted to go up to a couple and persuade them based off of that, it would probably be at disadvantage. But you could try to persuade them into the situation. Okay. There is some, like... mind you, there are some, like, butterface people sitting on the bar that, you know, you'll get a nice persuasion just going talking to them. Might be a bit easier. Nah, I want to I wanna attempt the three-way. All right. Okay. So, uh, couple, disadvantage, say, hey. disadvantage on persuasion, you then. Doing? How are you all doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, you I walk up lovely. and you go, you go, uh, your wife's quite pretty. You we'll we'll see. Lovely. Would you like to have a... <laughs> You're looking uh, at my they're... wife? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm looking at you, buddy. Oh, okay. So you you rolled the six because it's disadvantage. Yeah. Um. Uh, I love that. That's your line to him. Um. You can't I get would... mad because I'm looking at your wife because I'm looking at you. I would say at the least the wife throws her drink on you. Almost. Like, it's something of that level, almost. <laughs> I never! Slash. Yeah. Alright, can I can I roll to do, like, a like a reaction? Is there a reaction thing I can do to see if I can, like, get any of it in my mouth? Huh. Roll a, D roll a D20. Roll a flat D20 on that one, then. Yeah, there's no actual stat to really do that. Hmm. Mostly but, on your shirts. Uh, you open your mouth, and most of it, yeah, it hits, like, your chin, your neck, and your shirt, and you're just like, fuck, I was trying right, to I get my cute shirt, with that. I suck it out of my drink, and I say, thanks for the free drink, Stephen. Until it's not time. alcoholic as you start to wring it out of your shirt. It's like it's a fucking, like, apple juice. Yeah, it's apple I'll juice. I'll still take it. It's a free beverage. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll say, thanks for the free beverage, Sweet Cheeks. And I, I give them a link. They, and... they, they already, that explains this. I love that you're acting out the six in persuasion with that. That's so good. Well, yeah, mm. I'm committed. Uh, fucking Sweet Cheeks. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Uh, so striking out there, uh, the barkeep is still just chilling out there. Uh, there are some singles and I, and I at the bar. I to the guy, you do great in my brothel. As I, as I leave. <laughs> you do great in my brothel. He kind of just, like, you see him, like, visibly shudder when you when you talk to him. <laughs> yeah, because see, in my homeland, I just, I, I'm an owner of my own brothel. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. That's my new backstory lore. I like that. Um, so you failed to seduce, uh, the couple that you saw that seemed to be the easiest couple to try. Um, there is like the bar, there are some individuals at the bar, not the most attractive. I would like looking. to approach some of the, like, lesser fortunate lonely. Okay. Uh, you uh, approach, you approach a, uh, tall, uh, or, sorry, let me rephrase that. You approach a very short dwarf. With a nose that looks like he's been drinking since he was 16, and he is now 112. It's red, very obvious, like... Oh, wait, maybe know. I should have tried to use the luck potion on him. Well, well, hold on, hold on. So, uh, you approach the man, he's, uh, yeah. he's sitting there I drinking his ale. I, I'm saying it's dwarf, male dwarf. Well, who says that's the one I, I approach, though? Well, I was giving you, I was just giving you, like, the nearest patron. <laughs> No, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling, uh, heterosexual tonight. Roger, okay. Um, if that's the case... And then across, is it, it, is the, it looks the exact same, but a woman. Yeah, a female dwarf who is downing more beer than him. Uh... Ooh, a wooga, you know how to chug. Yeah, it was yeah, your low she... perception that you just confused Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you walked up to the guy first. You confused him for a... I just used it for a guy. Uh, and I then... am a man. <laughs> uh, and she's sitting there drinking on her own, uh, not really paying attention to you as you come up. 
night and I say, hey, what you doing tonight? Go ahead, bro. Uh, she looks at you and goes, finishing this beer and leaving. Uh, can I maybe, uh, can I maybe join you, perhaps? She looks at this, uh, she goes, looks at the stool next to her that's empty and goes, well, that seat's empty, but you're not joining me and proceeds to continue drinking. Hmm. You can still, you, you can aim for persuasion, by the way. You could hold on. You could aim for persuasion. You haven't tried to persuade this person. I'm trying not to I'm let not you like. Them they don't even... Well, hold on. That's the whole point of persuasion, though, man. I'll persuade. Them. Okay. I would like to persuade them to actually do this. Stuff. So, like, you sit down next to this person who's obviously not interested. You start up some small chat, and then that would be the persuasion. Yeah. Christ Almighty. Uh, I like to persuade them and try to entice right. them slowly bit by bit. So how, making... so how are you? So how are you schmoozing this uh, fine dwarvish lady? So I slowly start to get my charm on. I talk a little bit. I tell them about myself. Ask them about themselves, and I start to charm them a bit. Right to start getting on their good side. She starts out then... very uninterested in you, but as you keep talking and as the beer keeps flowing, you start to look prettier in her eyes. Shouldn't it also be the other way? Well, I, it's up to you if you want your character to be inebriated. I don't know that you're drinking alcohol. No, I'm saying the other way. Like, I mean, like, where I'm starting to charm her. Well, that's what I'm saying. She, as she's drinking the beer, you're looking prettier and prettier and prettier. Okay, what I heard was the other thing is that I, that she's starting to look prettier in my eyes. I'm no, like, no, no, no. I meant to say, yeah, yeah, what I'm saying is she's drinking beer and looking at you like, all right, maybe I could, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. All right. Does uh, she, does she say anything else, like, that goes back to understanding? Uh, what's the conversation that you're trying to lay? Oh, God. Again, it's just, well, it's just, it's just, it's just casual conversation, and I'm laying charm, being slightly flirtatious. Again, yeah. not asking again, as she already gave her answer. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And she goes, well, if you buy me a beer, you'll find out more. As she continues to finish the last of her beer. Slides I towards her, the barkeep. I, I sign for the barkeep and say, uh, water it down a little. <laughs> And, uh, I, uh, Doc can play the barkeep on that one. Like I don't know how that lands. He's, he's inebriated. I think he's pretty extra. inebriated. That's a motive. Like, it costs extra to water it down? <laughs> oh, and she hears right. you say that. And she looks over and goes, water it down? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm start I need to care for you. Like, I'm, you've already drinking a lot tonight. I don't, I don't want to be I, I, excuse me? I'm a kazad. And she starts to get a bit offended by this conversation. The Dwarves can like, handle their alcohol, TLDR. The yeah, I know. Like, Ooh, bad boobs. All right, fine. I say, uh, I say I'll pay him after. No, for I, the... I don't want to pay it right up front. And I say, give a get, get a full beer. Ooh. Yeah, that that's Doc's choice. At the bar, he takes you on fucking creating a tab. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he <laughs> create a tab and get like a full, big old <laughs> mug of beer. I, well, you know, places might not accept the tab. Place. They might want the money up front. Drago, or I mean, he, well, let Doc. Let Doc. He, uh, uh, I'm just making yeah. yeah. He's like, uh, you have to sign in blood on this piece of paper if you want to open up the tab. All right, and then I, I would like to cast. <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. That wouldn't work. Uh, well, I say, um, hmm. I, I would like to persuade him to try to say, do we really need to go through all this? Yes. Like, I well, roll a persuasion for yeah. the barkeep because that's like saying, Come on, like, please, just give me a chance. Yeah, you got to persuade the barkeep then. Mm. No. Mm. He looks at you, and goes, sign the paper, so we can, and and I'll let you open a tab. But otherwise, you pay me up front. All right, no. Well, then, All right. No. So well, I, no. Yeah, this is what I do, right? I, uh... <laughs> no beer gets flowed. <laughs> no. 
All right, well, I just continued talking to her, I guess. Well, hold on, hold on. as this conversation is continuing, and it, she realizes she's, she's like, not going to get a drink, she's going to start leaving. I was say, the barkeep's like, is this guy bothering you? No, no, I was just on my way out. And she starts to head out of the bar. <laughs> you know, I'm completely fine with Shut that, because what I was going to do, I was actually going to, if she like finally agreed... And if the, with the beer, I was going to leave her and say, you had your chance and have her pay for it and leave. Ooh, it's clever. I like that. That's, that's why you didn't want to sign the fucking contract. I like that. Yeah. I was going to do uh, that. I mean, it worked so you, you see her take her leave uh, of the bar. You are still at the bar top if you were ordering for yourself. But no. at this point, you're striking out tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to. I'm just going to leave and try to, like, scour some alleyways to see if I find someone. <laughs> As you leave for the bar, you see the other dwarf that you mistaken and her making out in the alley. Okay, so I throw roll, a pebble at them. Get a room. Roll, roll a straight <laughs> d20 for looking in the alley. So you call kind of mistress of the night you find. Okay, that's not bad. You know, I'm uh. looking. Someone also selling their body. Elf. If you will. Yes, I mean they're <laughs> looking for prostitutes in an alleyway. What? But free. <laughs> you. Maybe not. Maybe. I'm just looking for someone who's just chilling in the alley. Maybe. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. What? What is your intent? Let's start with that. Huh? What is what? What was the intent of that role? You're looking for people in the alley. Are you looking for women of the night, men of the night? Or are you just uh, looking for casual man. people walking out of the bar that you can pick up? Because I already had bad, uh, a bad thing. You with... Yeah, you struck out tonight bad, bad. Yeah, since I struck out with that, I'm going to say, I'm going to see if I can find a drunk, like uh, an inebriated uh, man somewhere in the valley. So maybe I'll get an advantage. Hmm. <laughs> uh... Listen, I'm, I struck out. My character knows what he needs. To uh, do. I, I'm gonna be honest. Even with the 15, I feel like your character is not gonna find that. If you were looking for like a prostitute, someone who, uh, what's it, you know, uh, call girl, call him. guy. Oh, wait, I know it. I'll pay him. Uh, but like, uh, hold on. Looking for a rando person to pay them doesn't work the same. Like, uh... Uh, okay, okay, yes, I'm gonna look for a prostitute. Yes, I've changed my mind. I have an idea. Okay. Uh, so we'll go with we'll go with that you find uh, a couple uh, men and women of the night that are uh, sitting in the alley talking shop, and that's that's a fifteen year old that lands. They're talking shop to each other though; they're not looking at you. What happened? Oh, okay. And see, that's how you do. The you found stuff. them. I was trying to you... see if there was anyone by themselves though. That's what I'm trying to. Say. Well, I, I, I understand, but like, if you're looking for like a person of the night and whatnot, and like. If you rolled higher, I think that's more to that. But okay. I would say, like, this is more like you found where those folks congregate, right? Because normally there's, like, a corner well, or I'd an like alley. Well, I'd like to wait or... around a bit and see if their conversation ends and they part ways that they're a little bit. That makes sense. Uh, Doc can roll that and uh, how he wants. Uh, we could also transition back to Drago now. We'll say it's, like, evening as Drago's... Drago, what are you doing? Severus pulling from the deck? How's he doing it? Slow mo, the longest slow mo. It's just the sun this'll, moving across the, way, this, the sky. And like, this, this'll, uh, this'll also give Do up. this also gives Doc a chance to figure out how he wants to roll. Literally prostitutes in D and D. Anyway. I'll be honest. I like this guy. I don't really want to rob from him. Okay. Um. Hundred GP a pull. So you said there's like one car that's like kind of flapping in the wind and like calling. Yeah, there's a there's a card that looks like it's coming out the deck towards you. It's calling you. You can kind of tell. Now, I'll, I'll say this: you can tell it's magical energy, but uh, yeah, it's just magical energy. Good, bad, indifferent. I'm a I'm a call Jesse. Yeah. Just turn around. Hey, uh, are you? <sighs> I know I couldn't afford the full deck of cars, but there, there's one, there's just one car right there that's just calling me. I really want that one car. Is there any way you could cut me a deal on just one car? Well, do you have anything valuable on you? Yeah, 
If you can't pay the gold, we make him uh, debate this the whole time, time, and then you don't no. get the time. You don't get the time. I already lost the voice. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how I feel trying to do Art's voice. Fuck it up all the time. I can't. in these occultist robes? <laughs> the ones I gave you. <laughs> yeah. That works. Brown. <laughs> well, it's, oh, he's a good businessman. He started small yeah. and he builds up yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart calls. Deal. Deal. Now, they get oh, you up. Oh, these are so silky. Deal the deck? <laughs> so, uh, uh, Drago, you get to pull one card. Uh, so far. Do you want to try and trade for more? Or do you want to just pull there's, that one? There's one card that was calling to me, and I want the one card that was calling Ooh. to me from the gods above. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say you pull the card. I'm gonna figure out what you pulled. Uh, Doc, you could figure out the prostitute situation. Sound fair? <laughs> okay. Prostitute situation. Oh, God. Yes, uh, after waiting around, they start, like, pulling. There's one by by herself at this point. Yeah. Still, she's not attractive, but, you know, like, she's, she's not, like, high-classy prostitute. She's, like, uh, like, uh, 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 she has, like, a monobrow type situation going. Uh, well, I go up and approach and I say, hey, you care uh, to spend the night with me? <laughs> well, that'd be 15 gold. I don't know why I just uh, slipped into the fucking <laughs> Jesse's voice. Like, well, that'll be 15 gold! <laughs> I don't he kind of looks like Jesse. <laughs> Jesse turns around. Well, hi there! <laughs> Welcome to Jessica's Magical Entrepreneurship! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, I say, uh, fucking hey. I keep... fucking... I can, but how about I give you, how about I pay you in a drink? Oh, God. Uh... Now right. <laughs> yeah, gold up front. I'll let you try All right, bye. I'll let you try a persuader. <laughs> I am gonna just go to the. Well, I guess I guess I could try. <laughs> I guess I could try. <laughs> and your persuade hide. I'll try. All right. Okay, let's see what this prostitute poops. Poops. Prostitute poops while you do butt stuff. Uh, well, oh, yeah, that's damn. enough. That's now. That's now. Fifteen gold. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to the castle. You're missing out, and she starts wiggling her hips. No chance, eyebrow line. I can uh, see the line from here. <laughs> that was uh, because of my low roll. My insult was not that great, but. Yeah. yeah I have to play Sorry. the part. I'm just going to go to the. And again, cast Unseen Servant after my rest from the night before. Roll a d20! Realizing we could have asked, what happened to the last people? <laughs> I'm scared. The owners. There. Alright, it's gonna take me a minute. Oh, Don't say that. Which, which are the two that I pulled? 
I pulled out two dexes, uh, two cards out of the deck. Cause it's Twenty-two. Um, and I want to make sure I uh, that one. Do the nicer one. <laughs> uh, I pulled Fates and I pulled Void because I think that those two can yep. fuck the game up. It, oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> yep, it's Fates. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, that's six then. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm sorry, what are you going on about right now? Thirteen, fifty. Oh, you pulled yeah. ruin. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the worst, actually, considering. Um. What oh, oh God. Here? All right, so as you pull the card, you pull the ruin card. I'm going to post the text inside of the thing. Uh, all forms of wealth that you carry, own, other than magical items are lost to you. Portable property vanishes. Businesses, buildings, and land you own are lost in a way that alters reality at the least. Um, any documentation that proves you should own something is lost to this card. Uh, is, or sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything, uh, something lost to this card also disappears. So, and the thing is, this card has gone away. This card is pulled from the deck. Um, so what has happened now is you have lost all monetary value on your character as well as goods worth money other than magical items. Magical items would probably be the potions you were given. Maybe the Athena book. Doc's Maybe. call. So I think you your cards... The... Does that mean his cards are the, gone? The yeah, true the... question... Is that cards means the cards, cards are gone. The card he went to get repaired is now yeah. gone. All cards are gone. The repaired one, when we say magic is part of the repair for the repaired one. Well, we were talking before, it would be very easily... Because he said it I'm, is brand new. It isn't magically altered. I'm like trying before, to give him the best possibility. Uh... Some deity out there was like, I really want his cards. I'm going to make him draw this card. <laughs> I was say the, Come on, he has the, 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 he has the ones I don't have. It was magical, but it didn't make the card magical. Roger. So as long as that's the case, all cards that you owned, all money that you had, the only thing you probably have on you at this point is going to be randomized potions. Here's a question. You have to keep your weapons and shit. I would be does, with that. does the crown stay? No. It, it, no. It magically Forms of wealth. No, I was just, I was wondering if it was magical or not, but no. Uh, oh, 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 shout, shout, yeah, 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 yeah. Magically poofs back to the king's head. King's like, huh. I'm not gonna lie, for our thief to get ruined is the most ironic one to get, which is hilarious. Well, it's but, really, um, really, so this is like a late game magic item, so it's supposed to be more devastating the later. Than it is. I mean, it's still kind of devastating. Dragon's yeah. pissed, he pulled it. Um, I could tell, but... Yeah. Um, and then. It? No, no, yeah, no. We're not going that far. He's keeping this stuff. Huh? Um, what was the other one? Fates. Yeah. So the three cards that we're going to say are missing from the deck for Doc's conversation is going to be Ruin, Void, and Fates are no longer in the deck. It is now a 19 card deck. What were Voids and Fates? The Void uh, steals your soul. And puts yeah. it in a place protected by powerful beings, and only a wish can restore your soul. No, it can't restore your soul. A wish can tell your friends where you are. Yeah. And then Fate's uh, fab the fabric of reality unravels and spins anew, uh, allowing you to erase an event that has happened as if it ha as if it has never happened. So I looked, I looked at Void and Fates and when I'm removing these, so it could be a 20 roll, and then Ruin is the one that got pulled without those two in the deck. With the 15. We, it is now roll a 19. A now it, it is now a 19 roll, so what we're going to do is if you roll a d20, you roll again. So if you roll a 20, you roll again. So 19 and under is a card. Sorry, Drago. Oh, by the way, it could have been worse. I, I, I'm not gonna yeah, lie. I if I did platinum Athena. Actually, I'm pretty sure the math. If I didn't pull void, yeah, you right. lost your character. Yeah. So, it, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, not fun. The the fifth edition deck is more balanced 
for bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is I think a it's little like bit. Twenty two percent are just like nope, no more. Yeah, yeah. Twenty two percent is the the odds as how bad things can get, and you got one of the bad ones for sure. So as you pull that card, all the money in your pockets, all the goods you have stolen, are gone. All that remains is your equipment. what you're wearing, your equipment. That. Nice. And then your magical potions that you got from this guy, and that's all you have left on your character there. And the book. And the book, for sure. Okay, the book nice. stays as well. Uh, you said I lose my... Equipment. You lose your money. Uh, you keep your equipment. You lose your money. You lose the crown. That's not wealth. I would say you keep your disguise kit, based off of what I posted. Uh, all forms of wealth that you carry or own other than magic items are lost. So, wealth Joke. would be gold, gems, Joke's the card. Jewelry. He stole it all, so it's technically not something he owns. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would say he could, I would say that means he gets to keep the crown and yeah, the coat, that. then. I was just, yeah. I actually don't disagree with that logic if we're going with Monkey's Paw. But note, if we're going with Monkey's Paw, yeah, no, this no, can no. hit us back even harder later. But I'm okay with that. I think that's a valid way of doing it. So, uh, Doc's call, though. Does he keep the crown and the and the coat, or no? It's, it's, it's up to you guys. No, no, it's up to you. You're DM. I want you to set the standard on that. It's either monkey paw, where it's literal, or it's, okay, cool, we're interpreting this, and he's going to lose that because that would be part of the will. And an interpret means we can be more gentle later with certain pulls. But if we do monkey's paw, that means that they could be better later. You know what I mean? So it's all 60-40. I'd rather you, you're the one writing the campaign, man. I'd rather you make that call. I pulled Void in Fates. That's my call. Because I knew those two could fuck your campaign. <laughs> or a character, at the least. Uh, let's do Monkey Paw. Fine. Alright, so you keep the crown, and you keep his coat. Uh, you're not keeping anything that your character rightfully owned, which we'll say is your character's gold, and um, any other like jewels or gems you may have had on you before the campaign started, let's say. But you keep, that, that you can keep the crown and keep the cards, coat. Because he stole those cards before. I thought he found the cards. Well, the platinum That's... card he stole from the guy. Okay, so platinum keeps, but the repaired card would go away then, right? Because yeah. he found that one. I think the only card he I think I'm just gonna one. screenshot my inventory. You tell I just... me that. I just yeah, love yeah, the fact fine. of like making a wish on a monkey's paw, and then you being the one that's like, actually paw. <laughs> yeah, this is how we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right. Uh, <laughs> you would lose. I mean, honestly, not a lot wow, of what you have lot. falls under it. Um, I would say, deck of cards. Whichever one you didn't steal, or whichever one you, yeah, whichever one you did not steal of your cards, so like uh, platinum Poth or the alt art Poseidon, I think, right? That'd be fucked. That First edition today. Zeus and Athena. Um, booster booster packs probably would also get the boot, and then your GP on your character would go to zero from two forty five. How? That's insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's a heavy hit, especially early on, to go to yeah. zero GP. Yeah. Thank God you already paid the man. Could you imagine if you did this for... Wait, Doc? What? How is he paying for the... He... I thought he paid first. Yeah, I'm asking that question. I'm confirming mm -hmm. that. What? He, he, paid, he paid with the cape. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. He paid with the cape and trade. Okay, want to make sure. Want to make sure. Um, so you already paid for all that. So you got your GP Imagine goes down to the zero. Cape still disappeared from him. And Jesse was like, what? "Yeah." <laughs> uh, and the only card you're gonna retain is the stolen card you have, which is the Poseidon. Oh, it was Athena. Or Athena. Sorry, sorry. 
Uh, the I one probably uh, mark some of my items like like that out there. I just have the so, stolen. <laughs> so you lose the alt art drago. You lose the first editions you have. You lose the booster packs. You lose your gold. That's what you lose with Rune. Oh, and he just got those booster packs. How it goes? He paid for them oh, intentionally, hey, and they're the valuable. Time for each one. Yeah. Hey, that's the good news. You got to roll twenty to twenties. Even though, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. At least you don't have to do that, thankfully. <laughs> Drago's just like, I fucking hate this. Why did I pull that card? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, God, bud. Lied to me. So that Zeus card that he repaired, does that count as magical item or no? No. No, no. that's the booty that's gone. The means of repairing is magical. It doesn't make the card magical. Yeah, that card's gone, man. Now what? Imagine if he had the entire deck of cards, though. Good thing he he's pulled that. Free. He would have lost the deck of cards, wouldn't he? No, because the deck of cards are magical. Oh wait, no, he doesn't lose magical items. Yeah, Sorry, that's correct. Yeah, correct. Sorry. Yeah. A deck of many things is a hard one to roll, by the way, because there's a lot of different effects on how they behave, and it's going to come down to DM discretion on everything. So, uh, I'll keep. We'll keep track through that, like uh, the three that I listed. So we know the three that are out of the deck for me and Doc's sake and Jelly's sake. Uh, if we need to, like, know that for session. Yeah. I'm going to say this. Don't look up the deck. Don't do it. It's actually more interesting if you don't know it. Uh, and the more people that pull bad effects, the more good effects that are left in the deck. I'll tell you this. I pulled three bad effects. Uh, two bad effects and one good. The good one would ruin Doc's campaign. That's why I removed it. Because if, uh. if, if Drago somehow pulled the fates and goes, the princess was never captured, I don't know how Doc continues the campaign. Uh, I don't know, something would happen. She's captured again. Yeah. From a red dragon. Can pull the fates <laughs> and get rid of the ruin. Uh, uh that looks yes. correct as far yeah. as I can tell, Drago. You look I good on like, that. Okay. Yeah, there are. I think that one does specifically say you can undo another card. Yeah, it's pretty fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's only one card that repeats in the deck, and we didn't pull it. Fucking Jester. Okay, so... Uh, with that out of the way, and that's uh, uh, that's the final day, uh, he, he, everyone reconvenes inside the throne room. <gasps> the fourth day. What? I, I rolled my personality for the next day. For the fourth day. Is it finally oh. a new personality? Uh. Yeah. Oh, are we up, or is this the new day? It's gonna be yeah. piss chugger. No, this. Yeah, right. I realized so, we had it for four hours. Yeah, 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 end of day. Everyone has rested. We're we've gone back, and now we are on the day where our carriage is ready, and we are being summoned by the king. Nice. Uh, so the king uh explains to you that uh, eyewitness accounts show that the dragon is flying. Let's see if I can map I was heading towards storm the storm reach mountains and well like if I had you to that direction to that's possible where the dragon went to then let's go guys a dragon come on <laughs> what are we doing here? Art, uh, art, art, art knowing a bit more about Polykai understands kind of what's going on and is kind of just like sitting there like, all right, yeah, I'll follow on this man. It's it's a whole dragon. I thought they were all gone. Let's go. Uh, uh, they also, they it's heard amazing. that there's, they got reports that there was also a disturbance in Zephyr and since it's along the way to look into it and they'll Still, uh, Will I get paid? Do, yeah, I was about to say, you you'll get like extra paid if you look into it. How much? What's the pay? I need to know. What's my pay? It better be more than working for the guards. Six hundred GP split between the party. Hundred GP a person, depending how split goes. Maybe more how if someone doesn't show up to next D and D session. Me. Are you? Are, are you authentically going to try and persuade the king on that? 
Um, but is that what he says? I'm gonna call Doc. That's up to Doc if what I said That's makes sense. Saying. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair. Uh, I was doing a hundred a player, and then if Devin doesn't show up, it's one twenty a player. Yeah, it's fine. Can I persuade for a bonus? You can roll it. Yeah, roll. I'll persuade for a bonus because he has. I know he has a little. Uh, well, he wants you to be his step, his son-in-law, or whatever the hell. So you yeah, can kind of like lean into that. I, I like to, as your future son-in-law. I would like to ask for more, please, father, daddy. daddy. There you go. Please, please. Please, dad. Beat you to that one. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I need more money. Okay, son. Anything for you. Sir, we don't have it in the budget. Just quiet you. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's like, we don't, that's, we don't have the budget for... But we can do anything for my new son. Yay! Thanks, Papa. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know why that one hit me worse than Daddy, but that did. <laughs> Papa. Thanks, Papa. Feels like a small Italian child. So yeah, let's. Papa. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end that Papa. there. I, yeah. We'll pause. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah.